Wow, don't you smirk. It's not your bedtime for another hour, you fuck. You fuck, don't be out here acting like you go to sleep at 9.30. What are you, 95 years old? You goddamn fuck. What are you, like 95? What are you, like a hundred million years old or something? Wow. Don't act like it's not your bed. It's not your, it's not, don't act. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, what he said. Don't act like it's your bur it's your bedtime. I almost said your birthday. Don't act like it's your birthday. It's not. It's my birthday month. What's up, Alte? Uh, I'm doing a press of some drugs. We're waiting for Pope to get on and do a tournament in a little bit. A little Rocket League tourney. We've been grinding the tourneys. Same old, same old, same old, same old. You've got to know that this ain't living. You've got to know that this ain't living. What's new in uh, Ohio? What's new in the big Ohio? Any more trains derail recently? Oh yeah, five more trains derailed this month. Damn, Ohio, what's up with that? What's up with that? You're going out and lubing up the tracks, aren't you, Alte? Bro, why you do that? Why you lube up train tracks, bro? Alte, aka the train track luber. Shit. What's your super villain name? Sick super villain name. Bro, that's a sick super villain name, though, seriously. Seriously, this, this is a sick super villain name, though. Seriously, seriously, though, bro. Seriously. Where's my guy, Sean? He's sick. Sean's literally dying. He came too close to Thumbsy. He flew cl too close to the AIDS son. You know what I'm saying? Sean flew a little bit too close to the AIDS son. Pope knows. Running trains on my mom. Whoa! Yeah, it's sad, but you know, I've accepted it. I've accepted that my son has AIDS. It's okay. Did you guys hear that OJ Simpson died today? OJ Simpson, dead, dead. Literally the most famous murderer of our era is now dead. He died. He's dead. OJ's dead.
Imagine in a flip turn of events, somebody broke into his house and stabbed him to death. That's not what happened. Cap. No, he is. He dead. He died today. Rip Orange Juice Simpson. He dead. Apparently he died. Put a dead celeb island. Well, I don't know if he's a celeb though. Is he a celeb? An he's an infamous celeb, I guess. I mean, he had acted and everything, right? I'm pretty sure he did some acting too and everything. Rip Orange Juice. Is that what they called him? Did they call him Orange Juice when he was in his heyday of football career? And here comes oh, Orange Juice out here on the field. OJ, OJ. And he'd run out and like pound a fucking bottle of Orange Juice and then tackle people. What position did he even play? What position in football did OJ Simpson play? I found this on the web. First player to rush more than 2,000 yards in a in a year. He actually has records? Wow. Oh, his nickname was The Juice. Right, because it OJ. Right, okay, I get it. I get it. He played the ass eater. Now, I don't think that's a position in football. From what I understand, they don't have that position in football. That's a different sport you're thinking of, I'll tell you. I'm not sure which one, but... Yeah, I don't think they have that position in football. I only played Smear the Queen, and I was always the Queen. Press time! Pants. 
That's because their uncle was the P-word. That's why they lost their pants, I'll tell you what. It was sad when the great ship went down. Kerplunk, she sunk. What a rotten hunk of junk. There's a bunch of different lyrics to that song, I think. Because Schmoly sings some weird lyrics that are obviously not the right one. I clearly sing the right ones, and whatever Schmoly's be singing is obviously not the right ones, but... It was sad, so sad. Yeah, it was sad, so sad. It was sad when the great ship went down. It sunk, the Titanic. It sunk to the bottom of the ocean. What do you think... Now, what do you think was bigger news? Do you think that... In 1936, or whenever the Titanic sunk, do you think it was bigger news that the Titanic had sunk in that year? Or do you think it was bigger news about the submarine that exploded last year or whatever? I bet you the submarine, it was bigger, technically bigger news than the whole fucking boat itself. In like 36, they were probably just like, yeah, whatever, a ship sunk. Move on with our lives. I don't know if that's when it sunk, I'm just guessing. Although now I'm kind of curious. Coffee! Sub! I know, way bigger, right? What year did the Titanic sink? What year did the Titanic sink? What year did the Titanic sink? 1912. That was close enough. Coffee! Because you're not cool, Alte. Wow. Damn. Damn. Alte getting called out by coffee. Damn. Damn. What's it feel like all day to get bullied by coffee? It's rough, huh? I know. Coffee bullies me too. I feel you. What's up, bongers? Wow. He loves it. He loves it. It gets him off at night. It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. You want me to make fun of you too now? <laughs> I learned the other day, Alte, that you're not even Mexican. Yeah. I literally learned the other day, you're not even Mexican. And I'll tell you what, I was kind of disgusted. Yeah. I was kind of disgusted by that fact. I'm not even going to try to front. Cheers! We're doing a gauntlet. It's gauntlet time. Set a timer for four minutes and 20 seconds. Four minutes Cheers! I have my sources. I have my sources. Bro's not even a Mexican. This guy's not even a Mexican. Being full of shit does not make you Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alte. <laughs> you want to be Mexican? <laughs> I can't believe it. And all this time, I thought you were a Mexican in Ohio. 
<coughs> Turns out you're just some white guy in Ohio. <coughs> I thought he was a gringo. <coughs> yeah, he's just some white guy in Ohio. <coughs> 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 That's way worse. Coffee knows. Coffee will tell you. It's way cooler to be a Mexico in, Mexican in Ohio. It's a rough one. <coughs> you should switch the balloon numbers around. Hashtag 53. <coughs> I'm not 53. Just because I look and act like I am. And I'm as intelligent as a 53 year old. That's probably what it is, right, Coffee? It's because I have the intellect of a 53 year old. I understand. <coughs> but then I somehow still have the youthful speed of a 23 year old. <laughs> Man, I'd be looking so good for 53. <laughs> Hashtag SE. <coughs> it hasn't been nice out yet. <coughs> you mean bully head? <coughs> Shmoley's just being a bully head. She's just being a mean old bully head. Imagine just being mean like that. It's been nice literally every day up till today. Did you forget how to ride a bike? I forgot how, coffee. <coughs> I'm ashamed because I can't pop such a cool wheelie as Thumbsy, you know? I think that's what it is, coffee. I can't do, I'm, I just can't do the cool wheelie that Thumbsy could do like that. I mean, that boy got at least this much air, at least that much. At least, maybe like, maybe this much, maybe even this much air, that's big. It was a big wheelie. I'm just embarrassed. I can't do that. <laughs> Cheers! I don't understand when Thumbsy learned how to ride a bike. I didn't know that he's ever been outside. <sighs> oh my god, I'm dying now. Mmm, that tastes good though. God damn, does that ever taste good? <sighs> oh. 
I'll order the training wheels. Wow. Wow. I'm literally the best bike rider. You know, I never learned how to ride a bike, Coffee. I never learned how. Did you know that? You knew that. I've told you. I never learned how to ride a bike. <sighs> I never learned. One day I just decided. One day I just decided. <clears throat> I should be able to ride a bike. And I just got on and rode it. Never learned. I'm above that. I'm above that learning thing. I could do with a belt, bike, bell, bell, bell. Hi, 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 hi. I mean the track, that tracks. Weird flex, but okay. Weird flex? It's a uh, proof of genius. It's literally proof of genius. You know who else learned how to ride a bike without learning? Tesla. That's right. That's right. I don't, that's, that's not a provable fact, but <clears throat> probably. Pro only one of the smartest men to ever exist. That's right. That's right. You know who else learned how to ride a bike? Steve Wozniak. Do you know who that is? Steve Wozniak. Tesla is a person? What? Nikola Tesla? Literally the man responsible for almost every invention on the planet Earth that Edison stole credit for? What? What? You know Edison never ever invented anything, right? Edison's just an idiot. He was just... Edison's just someone that was good at... He, Edison and Tesla are the same as Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is a salesman. He didn't invent anything. He's just a salesman. It's true. It's true. Steve Wozniak. The great Woz. Is it Steve? No, I think it is Steve. I don't even know now. Whatever. Wozniak was the one that actually invented everything. Is that the little green dude from Monster Inks? I don't know who that is. I don't know what that one's name is. No. That's Sully. His name is Sully. I think. Or maybe that's the big one. Yeah, I don't know what the little one's name is. The big one's name is Sully, though, I think. Kowalski. When was your birthday? April 6th. I'm 35, Alte. How old are you, Alte? How old are you? In American years, not in Mexican years. <clears throat> Always watching you. Cheers! Alte's gotta be like a lean 27 at least. Thank you, Alte. I'm 35. I was born on April 6th. <coughs> what a coincidence. <coughs> That's quite the coincidence. <coughs> That's when I was born. <coughs> Do you know what hour though? <coughs> what 
hour were we born? <laughs> but in Ohio, not Canada. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> 5 p.m. Ah! Ah! I believe I was born at like 4 something in the morning. Uh, I guess we're, there. we're a little bit different, I guess, Alte. Just a little bit. You're a late bloomer. You're a late bloomer. That's all right. That's all right. <coughs> That's all right. Everybody's got to be something, you know? I forget you're Canadian. You just forget. You just casually forget sometimes. <laughs> it just casually slips your mind and someone mentions it and you're just like wait why doesn't he say a more quick say a boot a boot a, a boot late to bloom first to coom shit is that what they say i'm gonna have to ask Groho about that one Groho boo Raho Boo, is that the saying, girl? I think the only person that can verify that for me is Raho. Late to bloom, first to coom. Yep. I'm gonna have to remember that one. I need Raho verification. I mean, it sounds right. It does sound right in some ways, but... Rojo's summering in Toronto and the surrounding whereabouts. Whereabouts. Girl! We're going to take Rojo to a rub and tug and I'm just going to go in and say, <clears throat> he's with Randall. Rip. And they're going to give him the royal treatment. Like, oh, well, come with us, sir. We have a room for you in the back. Private room just for you, girl. Oh, my God. In Ohio. In Ohio. Alta, you ever been to a rub and tug? In Ohio? I feel like you're the kind of guy I could ask that to. My sister does a mean rub and tug. <clears throat> Does she give you the family discount? Coffee! Are you even rolled up, bro? Are you even rolled up, bro? What time is it in LA land? 7 p.m. Where's Sean? Sean! I hope Sean's feeling better. He's dying. Sean is dying. He's caught something of the hiv. He's unfortunately dying. Which sucks more when you're in Sean's spot where you got school and work and all this shit going on and then you gotta chill for a long time. Probably charged him double. I haven't rolled up yet. I haven't rolled up yet. Probably charged him double. Oh, damn. Everybody thinks you get a discount on the micro peens, but they actually charge more for them because they're more work. Understandable. Understandable. I haven't rolled up yet. I took a nap on the couch after I logged off. Damn. Chill Thursday. Chill Thursday. I have to go buy a light bulb for the kitchen. Ugh. Bro, just order it off Amazon Prime, bro. Imagine going out of the house, bro. Bro, don't go out of the house, bro. Imagine. In LA, you get same day delivery. It's like same hour delivery in LA. You order it, they knock. Hour later, boom. <clears throat>
Where are you even going to get it? The Walmarts? The Walmarts? The Home Depot? Do you have Home Depot? What's your hardware store in LA? What do you guys got? Like Rona? <coughs> Lowe's and feel like an apartment owner. An apartment owner. <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. <coughs> Lowe's. We got Lowe's too. Shoot. <coughs> Are you going to immediately ask for help too? Just to feel more more important. Like, oh, excuse me. I'm looking for a light for my kitchen. I want exactly 80 watts. I want it to be sunset yellow. Probably. <coughs> I usually look for 15 minutes, then ask for help. And the person I ask for help is useless and can't tell me anything. And then I look for another 20 and find it. Or they lead you to the wrong aisle. That happens a lot too. Oh, that's in aisle 30. Well, that's weird. I asked for pipe fittings and aisle 30 is wood. <laughs> Fuck. Asshole. No, 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 no. Lowe's is the bougie home improvement store. Oh, that's why coffee's going there. Where do you go, Filthy? Filthy goes to home Dep the Home Depot or the Rona. Shit. Lowe's does not even have the day workers outside. What do you mean? The Mexicans? My god, you're right, Filthy. What do you mean? The day workers? Are there just like rows of Mexicans outside? What? <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> what does that mean? Can I say that? What? And they just all hang out outside. What? What? What is this phenomenon that you have? So you just have what we don't have that here the mexicans haven't migrated north enough i guess <laughs> oh, fuck. yes do, please do coffee please do i mean we don't got we don't have that here that i've ever seen anyways we don't like cold oh What the fuck? Hey, Doobie, can I ask a question? Sure. You sure can. Is there, is there opponents? What? Okay. Well, that was the easiest game we've ever played. Where is it? Guess who I am? A frog. I don't really like that game. Guess who I am guessing? You're probably MD Hossein Moner. That's who I would guess. Job for nine. Guess my name. Hossein. Okay, that was pretty easy. I'm Sonya. Oh, Sonya. 
Oh, wie? <laughs> All right, you want to do a dab, Sonya? Can I call you Sonya Blade? Do you know who that is, Sonya Blade? Well, you got dealt with. <laughs> Surely it had enough quick. Surely was like, no, no, no. Your real name is We Don't Care. Oh, damn. My real name is Famid. <laughs> Surely was like, yes, interesting, interesting. No, I don't care either. Okay. Wrecked. Damn. Damn, bro got taken down quick. Well, better luck next. Try another account. Don't unsubscribe with that one though, okay? Keep that one subscribed and then try on another account. Thanks. I think I was right though with guessing Hossein. I mean, pretty sure that was their name. Okay, Siri, that was lame. I was waiting for their name to be a racist slur, but it turned out that wasn't what they were going to do. I was sure that as soon as they said my name, I was waiting for their name to be a, you know, a name that starts with an N or something. But no. Just Sonya. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like really low. Really low. Really low. The other thing that I would really appreciate if trolls would do is put a display picture in your troll account. Because it literally takes like 30 seconds and it makes you seem so much more legit. If you just take that 30 seconds to put, just go get a random image, you know, just type dude on google and just get an image of some guy and like make that your your picture and what you'll right away be taken more serious so something to keep in mind yeah yeah oh well they came, they tried, they left. Shmoli's getting faster with the ban hammer, though. She's getting faster and faster. She's getting danger. Wait, let me see. Wait, now I know. Shmoli type. Wait, I'll find you. I'll find. I'll find you myself. I found you. Oh, so this is broken. That's so weird. This is actually just broken because. I mean, it literally says that you've never timed someone out or hid someone before. Moderated activities in the last year. I, I thought that seemed weird. Because I checked like four people and all of them said 0000000. 000 000 000, uh, which doesn't make any sense. Like somebody's been banned someone. But for some reason it doesn't, it doesn't count. It doesn't count in that list at all for anybody. Maybe it's because it's a new feature. Joined 17 years ago? Damn. Yeah, that's when you made your YouTube account. You're old. Isn't Holy Schmoly old? Wow. Pope's just saying, yeah. 17 years ago. Literal years. They, um, wait, let's see how old coffee is. 15 literal years ago. Oh my God. Coffee is old. What about me? What about me? Oh my God. So old. How old am I? 11. Not quite as old. Not quite as old. Coffee and Schmoly are old. Yeah. 11. Grumpy's 11. Oh, no, man. 
feel like I joined a lot longer than Bong's years ago. Bong's 12. Smalley's the oldest by like a mile. Whew, Filthy's that's, 10. That's Cap. No, I don't know. That's what it says. That's Cap. No, it's, I, I mean, you're saying Cap to YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's Cap. They, they big Cap in right now, I guess. They're saying I'm 11? Yep. I'm going to my studio. That's what it says right here. Joined 11 years ago. 11 years ago was 2013? I guess so, yeah. Maybe 2012, I, I mean, depending on when they're counting it, I guess. Or maybe 2014, who knows? No, probably 2013, mm. though. But it could be one way, the other way, or the other way. Maybe they're, if they counted it by, like, the year or the date YouTube was made instead of the year or something like that. Something weird. Damn. I guess I am 11. He's 11. February 6th, 2013. Just turned 11. There you go. Damn, like, Schmoly had an account, like, when it was... When, how old is YouTube, period? Fuck. That's, like... Day one YouTube stuff. Imagine you're just online day one YouTube. Hi, my name's Schmoly. I'm a day oneer. Nineteen. Shit, almost. There's a video of Schmoly at his YouTube somewhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a that was a YouTube joke. Only. Signed out, signed on with MySpace account. Oh my god, you created it with a MySpace? You're disgusting. That's wild. Yeah, that's fucking gross. That's <laughs> wild. I never even had a MySpace account. I'm 2008. No. You missed out. Yeah, you're 15 years old, Coffee. So yeah, I guess so. It says your account's 15. I was kidding. Oh, okay. Molly was kidding. She actually signed on with her ICQ chat account. Whoa. Whoa. No, don't try to steal my joke. I already said that. I just said that. Look at this one. Imagine just trying to steal my joke like that. Who are you? <coughs> That's so rude. What is this team name? Bean Town Flickers. Oh damn! <laughs> they be flicking the bean. Unfortunately, now we're in round two. No warm up. No nothing. Just straight in. Nothing, bro. They already won. Yeah, I've never seen that before. All right. Yeah, that's old. I wonder if we'll find anyone older. You guys need a cooler name. No. It's literally the coolest name. These guys don't seem overly good. It's you. Not me now. Oh, it's up there. Did you lose four twenty? Oh, my good lord. It's free. This guy hot garbage is trying really hard. Yeah, they're trying. I was lucky to save that one. I'm glad they didn't follow it up. I 
fucking missed wow. too. I swiped you. He's in there. I don't think we're gonna end this, win this very easily. No, his boost is really weird and hard to see. Okay. It's only the one that's fast, though. The other guy doesn't yeah, even know where he is. only that guy. Enough, enough boost to catch up to it there. Yeah, this guy's okay. fucking cringe. Look at the other guy's four points. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it's 1v2 versus Smurf. I miss. He missed too. <laughs> he's just trying to bump now, but he's missing. Bye, He's got that. Ah. Fuck, how did I whiff that, bro? Sorry. All good, G. I bumped him too. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. <sighs> he still hit it even with the bump. Uh. I got this one. His teammate is awful. 
Ah, oh, that wasn't fun. Hi, Rabu. Wow. That was L's. Wow, Rocket League kind of fucking sucks. Yeah, for all that. that was L's. Is Kebab here too? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. The points will get reset at 500 anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. That was ass. That was that was a bit ass, too. That was a bit ass. -y. Only because we were scammed out of our first game. Well, yeah, we were cold and playing a team that had already played, and then to get a Smurf and yeah, not the best. Let's do another drug. Not the best. You know he makes me bitter. I know he's a he's a unique fella, but and the nicest guy I'm sure. Um, he is a lot of interaction though. I've tried to tell him not to spam stuff so much. That's all that I I care about is sometimes he just fills the chat with shit, which. It's hard for me to read, and I feel like it makes people not want to type when the chat's getting spammed heavy. That's true. True. Well, it's harder on bird streams, right? Because, like, if you're watching on your phone, the chat's only five lines, like, big or whatever. And a lot of people are on their phone. With the rest of them. Yeah, like you can't even see. You can't even see everybody. Like if anyone does it once, pretty much you you lose all the chat. So when it happens like eighty times in four minutes, it's like it takes chat over a little bit. <coughs> but I can't control any of that stuff. So I can't control like the timers or nothing. I wish I could control the messages, too. <coughs> I was talking to Schmolly about it the other day. Like, when you win and when you bet, the way that it's worded and the way it writes it out is weird. Especially when you bet all. It doesn't sound like you won. Unless you know the points you had. It's just, it's written very weird. Whoever, like, wrote the shit up for it didn't. I don't think is a gambler. Have you had the pink ramen noodles? The package is pink and it's cheese carbonara? Hell no. Hell no, girl. I haven't had that. It's so spicy. It made my ears sweat. <laughs> oh, God. I've never had ear sweat, I don't think. When you get the sweat on the top of your head like that from eating salt too much salt and vinegar chips. Like if you eat a lot of those and you get the salt and vinegar chip sweats, I feel like that it's like only on the top of your head and it's a weird sweat. But not my ears ever. What's happening? Why is my ping 328? They're fucking with us. Look at that guy's a champ, a champ or grand champ. I'm not a sweat. The salt and vinegar sweats. Ooh. I love. Oh, we actually, they lag switched us. Yeah, they lag switched us. We just lost that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just, that literally counts as a loss, too. I am loving Rocket League right now. That was a loss. That was a loss. But we just got... So, we played two games. One of them, <laughs> we played a Smurf, uh, who is a way better rank and lied and played on a new account. And the second one, we got lag switched and cheated. Okay. Uh, let's try it. Third a straight loss. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah, that's just a straight loss. 
I'm reporting that team. Leg switch is just a straight loss. I reported that team. You are the first person who has ever said those words, sir. What? You've never had them, bro? You have Pope. Vinegar sweats? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, where they, and you get it on the top of your head, right? That's where I get it. Or like on your forehead. Yeah. Well, I know. You're going to make a bald comment. I know. It's because I'm bald. I was. I was. I was. It's, like, it well, is. But I do. There, so. Well, but your hair gets really... sweaty then, though. Maybe. More or less forehead or like pimples. Yeah, it's it's a real salt and vinegar sweats is a thing. It's rough. It takes a real man to eat that much salt and vinegar. I like the burn that it gives us. Yep. I like that burn. Oh. Nice cut. I just trust trying to fuck him up from hitting it. Oh, oh, you're a pool ball. You're fucking that's, me up from hitting it. That's still my ball, bitch. Get out of my way. It's in. Now it's definitely in. No, it was a play. I seen it. I seen the future there. Or just say if that one was in. Mm, no, that one. I don't. That one might have bounced in, maybe. Uh, it was very 50-50. Yeah. Ew, sweet macaroni and cheese? Ew, that sounds horrible. Oh, that was a bad pinch. I just full nice. miss. It's okay, I bumped the shooter. And then full missed again. Then stole boost. Fucking break their ankles, brother. Is it in? I got boomed. Oh, I did so good there. Oh, okay. You're gonna touch it again weirdly, and it's not gonna be in anyways. That's in. Beautiful. No cheese, mofo. It's cream, butter, and granulated sugar, and it gets baked. Ew! Ew! Would you eat that? It's 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 macaroni and cheese, cream, butter, and sugar, and then you bake it. Yeah. The fuck? Maybe. That's, that sounds horrible. I mean, it would be better if it had the cheese, I think. No cheese, just noodles. Yeah, I think it'd be better if it had the cheese. No cheese. Is that even mac and cheese? No, it's just mac and sweet cream and butter. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. Oh, oh my good lord. That man is almost, he was almost God. I have never seen someone do that before, like in a game. No! He tried. I tried. It was just over the rim. I seen it. That would actually, I kind of wish he would have made that shot because it would have blown my mind a little bit. Nah, you little bitch. Rojo, we were talking about this last night. What's the weirdest meat you've ever eaten? In your opinion, weirdest meat you've ever eaten. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, he hit it backwards. What the fuck is going on? Jesus. Bro. This is anarchy. Oh my god, he didn't even move! Is he AFK? Oh my god. 
This is complete anarchy! Fifty fifty perfect. What a save. I'm getting triggered. <laughs> He's triggered! Mm. I'm getting triggered. <laughs> Everyone's hitting it like they're fucking <laughs> special help. <laughs> well, I do need special help. Oh god, I missed it completely. And then if uh, they're not hitting the ball, they're hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> He's triggered! I'm tilted, bro. What the fuck is this game? What the fuck? What a play that almost was, though. <laughs> Gator or rattlesnake? Ostrich? I hated ostrich, but rattler was okay. It's ass. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That was horrible. That was ass. What's the versus? No. Snow day is in the game. Ooh. The Asian slaw makes it so much better. Hey, let's just do one free for all. Let's do one knockout game. I'm no, dookie. No one can cheat it. Oh, oh, we're banned from matchmaking. Law. Ban. Leavers. Uh, yep, that was me. He's left. I'm banned. He's banned. You're not. I'm not banned. He couldn't do it. No, the game is dookie. Oh, oh, it was that was painful. That wasn't a painful experience of games there. After getting fucked over from the start of this, it's just you know less appealing. Yeah. The walk, the buy was really weird. I've never seen that happen before. That was strange. There's no one in our in our comp game. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was weird. That shouldn't be a thing at all in the slightest. Well, I don't think it's very common because I mean we played a lot of tour. I've never, I've never seen that on never a video. Happened. I've never seen had it happen. I don't know, it was fucking weird. You know, maybe minus one person, but yeah, but not ever just, just no one. No one, no. I've never seen that. I don't know. That was weird because it would have been better to go to second chance then, because then at least we could have played our first game. And had a warm, yeah. Like, had a bad yeah. team first, whereas we had to play a team that had already won and played, and we didn't. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Fair. Where's Thumbs at? I don't know. He has AIDS. You know he's playing Minecraft. Yeah, he's playing, he's literally been playing Minecraft for 90 hours a week, every week, religiously. He doesn't do anything but play Minecraft, that more boy. That po oh, boy. That's true. 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 That's why I still can't believe he knows how to ride a bike. It's almost crazy to me that he can ride a bike. But I've seen it, so I can't deny it. He even popped a gnarly wheelie. Gnarly, bro. How long are we banned? Five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, poor thumb thumb. He should just come play. What the hell? Thumbsy! Coffee! 
My video is about to hit 12k views. <laughs> 12,000! It's going crazy, bro. It's going mega. Twelve K views, one hundred and sixty-two likes, two hundred watch hours, eighty-three comments. Shit. What's your watch hours at? You're still dropping. Uh, let me check. I think I'm still dropping. However, this video is countering it pretty hard. Tomzy. Yeah, I got less than you on your slots account. My slots is 2200 right now. Yeah, I'm half that. I'm going to beat subs now, I think. Before hours. You're going to get 1k subs before 4k hours? No. Well, there's the first level monetization first. What is it? 500 subs? Yeah. 3,000 hours, 500 subs. It's a lot. Yeah, I know. It's still like... The subs are the only thing they have, but 3,000 hours and 4,000 hours really isn't that big. They should have done 2,000 hours and 500 yeah. subs, right? Like... Because, like, the 3,000 and 4,000 is... Both of them are, like, it's... I don't know. If, to get 3,000, you're easily going to get 4,000. Yeah. And so, I don't know. It's kind of a weird... I'm like a manatee. I'm a cabbage eating fool. Girl! Does cabbage give you the stinky farts? I mean, I don't know if cabbage in itself is like a really, I mean, it's not bad for you either, but cabbage usually is fermented, which is really good for you. So I guess in most areas. Yeah, it's pretty good for you, because... I like cabbage. Steamed cabbage. What's red? What's the red one? Is that still cabbage? Mm, there's purple cabbage. Yeah, you know, Cold Slaw has the purple and, and not purple in it or whatever. Something Unless that's lettuce. No, that's not lettuce, is it? It's purple cabbage. Yeah, I think it's purple cabbage, but I think there's another word for it, maybe. Mm. But I don't know what it is. Indo. The endo. But I like that. I like that stuff too. What I don't like is iceberg lettuce. Eh. I want romaine. Yep. Purple cabbage. I googled it. Yeah, it just looks the same, but it's like really, really purple. Right? Yeah. And then white in the middle. So we're gonna have to go to beer places. Rojo's coming up to summer here. Rojo's summering in Ontario. Oh yeah. <coughs> you better. We're gonna get DJ and Foster <coughs> Rojo and Doobie Doo does slots. <coughs> yeah, and that little that little queen in Toronto. <coughs> Radichicio. Radichio. <coughs> ho ho. That little queen. Girl, I, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. Rojo, watch something a little queen in Toronto that DJs. <clears throat> Girl, Girl. <clears throat> he's a pretty little queen. Mm. Oh, we're in. Radi Radid Chio Radicio Radicio That's the purple one Ra oh I forgot Radicio Radicio Purple Cabbage AKA purple cabbage, baby. It has that bitter first taste. Yeah. So that's why they only use a little bit of it. Huh? 
What did we queue up for? Knockout. Word. I think they also uh, um, marinated a lot too to try to get that bitterness out of it, right? Radicio. Do you like coleslaw? Uh, I don't. I don't mind it, but I don't really love it. It's only. Oh, I was gonna say it's only four people. I don't really like the mayonnaise one because I don't like mayonnaise. What are the controls on this again? Um, all the same except to grab, you have to be holding reverse when you flip forward, and if you flip backwards, you use your shield. And then double flip is just hit. And if you hold, yeah, if you hold reverse while flipping forward, you do the grab instead of just, just the regular hit. Get away from me. What does Y do? That's just a uh, target. Yeah, you can change lock on to cars. Some bullshit. I grabbed that motherfucker, but I couldn't get it done. I almost just killed the man. Almost killed a man. Oh, almost got you, bitch. I see you over there. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. It's in most Asian slaws. Which slaw do you like, Rojo? Are you a... Do you like the mayo one more or the vinegar base more? Whoa. Jeez. I couldn't get back. That guy, that guy done hit me hard. Damn. <laughs> I was looking at Rao's message. And it just happened to be you that we bumped straight face to face. Oh no! Ah. So you know I had a rabbit hole all that farmland along the coastline. That's literally where all of... Yeah, I know. It's all corn. Yeah. I've driven through it many a time, girl. Man, I boomed that guy hard. I boomed that guy hard. That was me, buddy. Oh, did I kill you? Not yet. <laughs> I just got three. I did. Did I kill you? Now I'm gonna target you. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. I threw one heart. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, what's up? You think you can fly and get away from this? <laughs> you just bumped into me. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now I can do a dab. I'm a mayo slaw peep. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't like mayo. It's just, mayo's gross. 
Use your own. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you had no boost left? None. Uh, mayo just weird. But I would like to make mayo one day. We're doing another one of those. That was good. I'm a little better at throwing people. Like, grab them, and then you jump, and then, like, flick forward and hit A, and it throws them straight down. Cheers! What other kinds of ways can you prepare cabbage? People do the cabbage rolls, right? Do you like those, Rojo? Those are big at a market here that I know of. Like the Gibraltar market cabbage rolls are very popular. Holy! <coughs> okay. It's basically Caesar dressing minus the anchovy. No, 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 mate. What the hell? No! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this game? I agree. So I'm no not feeling it today. No to cabbage wraps. I agree. This game I blame Thumbsy though, kind of. I hit you. <laughs> yeah, I, I see that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't you come for me. I see you. Like I'm following you again? No? Oh, what the hell? Was that... It, bro. Was that you? I'm dead. I died. I can do another dab now. I never went on the bottom platform ever. Slimy cabbage, I can't eat it. Can't eat it. Won't eat it, can't eat it, won't eat it. Oh, actually speaking of food, Shmolly, I watched a short last night and it was a guy and they were in Florida, he was a a fisherman from Maine, which I think are the same lobsters as you would have then. And he went down to Florida to learn about the spiny lobsters, because apparently that's where they are, is down there in Florida. They get the spiny ones. And he ordered the spiny one and a Maine lobster, and he ate the spiny one and, and immediately said, this is shit. So. But I mean, he was also a Maine lobster fisherman, so unfair a little Bro, bit. Bro, how are they grabbing me? But they're they're fucking weird. Their lobsters are strange, weird looking things. Yeah. He's dead. He's dead. Oh god. He's oh god. It's over. He's already out. <laughs> he's. <sighs> well, that was what that was a solid Rocket League session, if I do say so myself. No. <laughs> Today's ass. That was a good, solid Rocket League session if I've ever played one. I feel satisfied and like a winner. You too? I feel angry. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. Angry and depressed. We, we didn't even win one game. Not a single one. No. That's Not a sad. single one. That's sad. Bumsy! <laughs> I need someone to 1v1 to beat on. Thumb Thumbsy! Thumbsy! 
cheating ass bastards. Yeah. I agree. Kind of the first two games set the tone because it was it was kind of two cheats right boom boom in a row, which is not yeah, just not as fun. fun. Yeah. No, cheated after cheated, then after just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Done He's done here. He's done here. They're cheaters. Maybe the threes tournament later, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. Who knows. Maybe if Thumbsy's around, but he won't be because he's busy playing Minecraft because he's so exactly. cool. Exactly. He's so much cooler. All right. Well, GG's. Uh, all right. I'll talk to you later, bro. All right. Much love. GG's. Peace. Peace. He's dead. Well, we came. We tried. We got cheated twice and we left. Thus is life. Thus is life. Boof ass Rocket League. Where the fuck is Sean? He's sick. He might be sleeping. He's a sick. He's super sicky. He was up last night chilling all sick. Not feeling good at all. Poor Sean old. Poor old Sean old. Sicky, sicky, whoa, sicky, sicky, bobicky, be fafo, flicky. I thought my spell on him was just sick for two days. Oh, damn. You put a little bit too much worms ward in it. Girl. You're only supposed to tap breath of frog once. Damn. Evil Rojo out here. Evil Rojo out here. Girl! Did I? Did I? Did I? Oh! You silly little queen, you. You silly little queen. I'm a Philly snack. I'm a Philly snack. I'm a Philly snack. I'm a Philly snack. I'm just a Philly snack. Just a Philly little snack. God, that's loud. We need to do a silly little snack. Another dub. Cheers! You think Sean is lurking? He might be lurking. There's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> huh? 
Hang out with me, hot ass. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? Um, we got a, what do we got, right? I don't think I've done this yet. I didn't do it last night, I don't think, so. Oh, you want to be in, a, you want to jump in? We can do that, girl. Sure. Just give me five minutes. I'm down. I'm going to just compress all these ones that don't have anything interesting happening into one video. So, um, but let me just re quickly record it up. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Wait a minute. <clears throat> I'm Doobie Does Slots, $100, one month versus the casino. What we're going to do is compress from now on until we get an interesting bonus. I'm going to put all the days into one video. So in this video, you are going to see... Day seven or eight, all the way through till who knows when, until we get another slaughter interesting bonus. I will keep you updated on every one. We will give you the dollar amount and all that, and then we'll speed through the rest. I hope you guys are enjoying. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. This is our journey on how to take advantage of the casino's bonuses and earn us money instead of them. Let's get to it. First things first, free spins. Easy peasy. We have to know if we need to wager out any extra money. That's extra spins. All right, free spins. It's time to play. All right, we won the bonus actually last time we got free spins on this one. So let's just do that again, maybe. So that's a lot of noises. Six chips or three free spins. Spin, what are we winning? All right, 75 cents. So we got to we got to wager 750 for that free 75. We got to wager 25 for our other bonus. So we'll go quickly do both of them at the same time. This is probably all going to be sped through, so it doesn't even matter that I'm talking. But I'll continue to talk anyways. Hopefully it's one out recently. I mean, it was quite a while ago, so. I think we'll maybe wait. All right. Okay, I gotta wait for that. Uh, I gotta wait for that to come back around. We gotta take the lowest risk route we can. Oh! 
Fuck me. Fuck. I thought I hung up. Uh, oh my god, you got you got one out. Oh my god, you scared both of us. Who? Me and Mocha. Oh. Uh, 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 watch stream and about to go outside. Hi, Mocha. Your girl and Mocha jumped up and fucking about took out the sofa. <laughs> Fuck. Hi, girl. How you doing? Oh, I'm not too bad. Do I have my video on? I better check and make sure I have my fucking video on. No, I don't. I thought I hung up and I just turned, you know, how you turn your phone off so it's not shining or whatever. Yeah. I oh, it. It's not and, shining. And now, oh, my God, I'm about to report fucking grumpy. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, girl, just pressing all the buttons. Hi, Mocha. She's so cute. Oh, she went to she went to her cage. <laughs> oh. That's her safe space. You scared her so bad. Poor girl. You do me now. Hi, Mocha. This is Doobie. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Oh, hold on. I'll turn her on. I'll turn her on for you. Hold on. Uh, press this button. Press that button. Pull my dick out. There she is. Mocha, come here. <laughs> oh, baby. That's a Doobie. Push no, the baby. Oh, she's Where's a big she girl. Yeah, she's like 35, 40 pounds. Where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? Just a big girl. Get him, girl. Get him. That's right. Uh, <laughs> she's on guard now. She's amazing. Um, I told you about <laughs> Stephanie's dog, Digger, who's a Wymarainer, who's yeah. the smartest dog on earth. She uses her <laughs> voice, her growl to talk just like Diggy did. Like, she's the least aggressive dog on the... She would never bite you for anything. Holly's like Sisters she, is a Weimaraner, too. I like those dogs. And th does he talk... Or does that Weimaraner talk in his deep voice also? Like, to communicate? No, not she. But not that I've noticed, no. But she's a very good girl. They're so smart. Yeah, they're so hunting smart. dogs, right? So... I think. They're deer? Yeah, they they used to hunt deer. Yeah. She hunts, I think, bird like birds, I I think. Or maybe Digger never met too. an animal Digger never met an animal that he would back down from. And Stephanie knew this about him. And she always had those um oh my god, zero zero one chains, I think that's what they're called. They're like right below a log chain, whenever you have uh, a leech. Oh, okay. Like the gauge of how big it is. Yeah, like for pit bulls and shit. Because he was first of all, he was 120 pounds. Was his medium weight, and he can get up to like 140 on his heavy side. Yeah, that's big. That's big, big. Gonzo's big oh. like that. I don't like very big dogs. I don't know. They intimidate me. Not a big fan. He hated fucking kids. That's not the best. No, 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 no. We all knew this, and we would tell people, don't bring your kid in. And if you do, don't let your kid play with my dog or try to fuck with the dog. He won't fuck with her or him. Just don't let the... And sure enough, you turn your fucking back, and the kid's over there in his face. And of course, he's going to take his snout and just smack him right upside the fucking head. And then he's not happy until they cry. <laughs> Raho is similar to that. Well, I think I swear. I think I'm the one that taught him there. <laughs> Girl! So what's been going on in your world, sir? Tell me, listen, when you did your little trip, did you go to the casino there in Montreal? In Toronto? Yeah, there we go. No. Mm. How come you were that close and didn't go? Well, we weren't that close. We were still 54 minutes away. That's still better than two hours and 54 minutes away. Yeah. Well, no, it's on this side, but I'm supposed, we're supposed to be going soon with my mother. My mother really wants to go and she wanted to take me for my birthday too. So that was another reason why we never went. Cause. Oh, okay. We'll probably end up doing that. And she's, you know, she's a degenerate. So she loves the casino. So she really wants to see that one too. And I've heard they got a bunch of new games there that they don't have in other places. 
you mean slot games? Yeah, like they have the like how Vegas gets like all the new new ones like all the time. Like they because it's just built, they have like the new ones that like Vegas has that we don't have. So that should be cool. I, I didn't know if it wasn't planned for the anniversary activity. Like you already had a full book. Oh no, we just we just wandered around and enjoyed, and I I was still not feeling the best, so my stomach was still messed up. Um, but as was evidented when we had dinner and I like died, but yeah, no, it was good. It was good. I just love being in Toronto. I don't know. I really, really like Toronto. I love the buildings, the cleanliness, the sidewalks, like the underground. I don't know. I just really like the vibe. I could never live there or anything, but I really like being there for like a weekend or whatever. Bro, I told you that 4k wanderings convinced me it's an amazing city. Yeah, like, there, and then if you, like, do a lot of research and you want to do, like, a bunch of, like, cool things, I mean, it's all very expensive, obviously, but that's the same everywhere, but, um, yeah, they have some really cool, like, restaurants and shit and all kinds of stuff. Now, are you a museum person or not a museum person? Not really. I mean, if there's, if I went and people wanted to go, I would go, but, like, not, it's not something, unless it's, like... You know, like if it was the Louvre, maybe I would be like, okay, or, you know, something where it's like, you're going to see some, like a really famous piece of art, then I would consider it. But other than that, pretty much, no. Pass. What about you? Would you go, would you go to that stuff? Oh, uh, that would be like number two on my list. Really? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, know yeah. that. Especially... Especially if they've got like a resident artist that does an installation or they got somebody in that's just in for like once in a lifetime. Yeah, they well when they had oh, what was going on? Yeah, they I think when we were there at the museum or at the whatever, they had on it was a woman a bet on on the impact of trash in the world or something like that, I think, or I wanna say. So I suppose that would have been like art made out of garbage maybe or something i don't know i don't really know but that's what you mean um, stuff like that yeah an install yeah and also like a traveling installation like ansel adams or georgia or key o'keefe or any of diego or any, any of those big artists if they just have like you know 10 or 15 things by them i'm happy with that right to see it in person does that make sense because you've seen it in pictures and you know as well as i do that pictures never really measure up to a real thing Right. Well, that's why I would want to, that's what I would say. And, but more, yeah, like the Mona Lisa or, you know, like to go see that painting on the roof of whatever building, the church where they're like touching fingers or. Yeah. The Sistine Chapel. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever, but not Vatican. other stuff less. So, you know, it's like going to see the statue of David and realizing 17 feet is really, really tall. Like it's really, really big. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, that sounds huge for a statue, actually. That's why I mean, people say, oh, he's got a little dick in those pictures or the little miniature, you know, reconstructions of it. Yeah. He got a big old dick at seven foot tall, though. Yeah, that's interesting. But no, I would, I mean, I would happily do it if, yeah, like if you were here and you were like, oh, I really want to go to a museum, I would happily go. But it wouldn't be something that I would be like, oh, I want to go to that. But you know what I mean? And do y'all have like any science museums where you go and you can stand in a, the echo chamber? Yeah. Yeah. We have the Toronto science center and it's okay. one of my core memories for sure. From when I was younger, cause they have all that kind of, yeah, it's all that stuff. Like all those science rooms and you know, interactive. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the interactive. Where you like, yeah. Like back in the day with the ball where you touch the big Tesla ball and it like makes your hair stand up and like the ni liquid nitrogen and all the cool spinning mirror tricks and all the it's yeah, it is. That stuff's cool there. We did Stephanie and her sister and I did the star Trek costume um, exhibit. Okay. And it it's of course it had different costumes from the original all the way up to like whatever the fuck was current. I think it was enterprise in 2000. Anyways, you would be surprised how a small those people are and how cheap the fabric is really oh it's yeah. just trash there's a couple of them that you could actually touch the the material like a, a sample of the material that the whole thing was made from yeah 
And yeah, I see why those people always have coats and scarves on set because they're freezing to death. Right, because they can like blow through the fabric. Yeah, well, and plus they got those hot lights going on them to keep them warm also, but still, you got the air that's so fucking cold. And the, those costumes give you no. It's like wearing skin. It's like you're naked. It's right. literally like you're naked. That's interesting. No. Well, I, like, I don't, I mean, that, we, I don't think it's open now. I don't know if they're reopening it, but in Niagara, they have, like, the, the barrel museum. That one's really cool. <laughs> Is it all the barrels they fished out for people that have died going over? And people that have lived. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> they have like all of them in there, like the big metal tube and the mesh bag and like a bunch of different just regular barrels and like, but there's a so ton. Listen to me. <laughs> you got me gig one. If there's a <laughs> sign that says to the left, there's a painting of the Mona Lisa or to the right, there's a barrel, barrel museum. Are you going to go right every time? Uh, I mean, probably, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds way better, no? Hell yeah, I'm going to the Barrel Museum. <laughs> Girl, he, it's, what? Well, yeah, there's one that, a guy went over with his dog and, like, all kinds of whack-ass shit. Ooh, that made me laugh. Like, why are you going over with your dog? Yeah. You can either have one fucking painting or 55,000 barrels of cheese from and a story oh. for each barrel. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, well, it's not just, they're not just barrels, though. There's, like, a mesh bag and, like, a tube and, yeah, they have, like, the life jacket of that kid that went over without anything. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they're pit we kind of balance each other out. I kind of get it. I kinda 55 get it. barrels. Yeah, that sounds sick, though. I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't know. Niagara is a cool place to see. You Have you been? You've been when you were younger, you said, right? No, never been to Niagara. No, I've never been north of Pennsylvania. Never well, seen I mean, Niagara you know Falls. Wow. No, I've never been north of Pennsylvania, but I've been north to, to Canada from Ohio, Michigan, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. But That's you have... East Coast, really. East Coast just ain't my thing. I've just never... You have seen them. Like, you've been to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> when I was a child, yes. So you have seen a world I was wonder. Eight, I, was eight, I was 18 months old. There's pictures of me at the Grand Canyon. Just pictures oh. of me at Disney. Too. But you don't remember it, though. No, I was 18 months old. Right. Oh, well, that's last. And fun. Hoover Dam. There's a picture of me on the Hoover Dam. At 18 months old. Yep. Yeah, that's last fun though. Good night, Grumpy. Good night, Grumps. Oh, so anyways, tell me all about it. What's going on? What you doing? Who you wearing? What'd you eat for supper? Uh, pizza, cereal, the usual. The usual. So what's the craziest meat you've ever eaten? Um, look at, look at that. eating a pig ear. You want a pig ear? Smoked eel. Oh, like in his, oh, you didn't have it in sushi though, did you? How'd you have no, it? No, just just oh, a whole Christ. a whole eel smoked. No, just just the whole thing there. You just picked... Is that from your Dutch grandparents? Yeah. How did you fare with that? Oh, I was young, so it was fine, I guess. But I vividly remember it. But yeah, it's like it came in like a, it came in like, um, you know, no, no, like when, um, they like put medical supplies in stuff, and it's in like the plastic with the two lips where you can like pull it, pull the two pieces apart. Do you know yes. what? Yes. It came in like a yeah. really long bag like that where. It, like the top lip you grabbed and like pulled the top off and then it was just literally a whole long eel just laid out smoked head on everything but gutted and still the the rib bones in it and you would just like grab pieces and peel it off towards you or whatever it is fucking gnarly now was there i'm sure of course it's smoked which means they packed it in salt right so it had a salty taste 
Probably, yeah. I don't really remember much about eating it. But yeah, I would assume really smoky and salty if I remember, yeah. Well, it's like Van Frick was talking about. I forget what he said was kind of gross. I was like, dude, you eat pickled herring for breakfast. Yeah. You know, you're, you can't really have the right to say that. But if you're raised that way, it's kind of like Asian people. If you're raised to eat chicken peckers, you're going to want chicken peckers for supper. Yeah, it's one just one. yeah, it's just the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, you know, we both know that you and I probably wouldn't survive the apocalypse for about the same reason. We just we're not cut out for that. No. No, you got to be born in, yeah, you had to be born into it. Definitely born into it. Like, yeah, do be granny like that. She'll eat yeah, the gnarliest shit and like craves it. Like uh, <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story of Shane's grandmother and her pickled pig's feet? Ew. Okay, so check it out. He took care of her and lived with her for like the last two, maybe three years of her life. Now, he worked a full-time job, and he did all the stuff that that was minimal. You know, like cleaning the house, making sure the toilet paper got changed, doing laundry, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't so much he medically like a caregiver for her or anything like that. But anyways... She said, I have got the biggest craving for pickled pig's feet. Now, you can either get two in a jar or you get four in a jar, right? And he got her the four in the jar, and she ate two of them. And, you know, we were talking about how cabbage earlier sometimes gives people gas, and you know how pickled products are. Yeah. Well, he went to bed. This bitch got up and ate them other two, and he woke up to her screaming her name. And she had shit all over the hallway, from the kitchen, down the hallway, to the bathroom. It was everywhere. He got so upset, he called his mother and said, get your aunt or get your sister, whatever her name was. Get over here and clean this up. I'm outside on the phone. I can't go in there. Yes. Yes. That's rough. Yes, sir. And he said, now, what have, what's the lesson we have learned here? And she said not to eat more than two pickled pig's feet for 24 hours. No. He said, no, you never eat them ever again. I'm never buying them for you again. <laughs> oh, God. That's horrible. That's horrible. No, they're gross. They're nasty. I've only come across them a couple times. My mom's family really liked escargot to her brothers and sisters, so we always used to have that at fucking family did gatherings. They, did they ever eat escargot in my cargo? I don't think so. I would hope not. So, did you even try a snail? No, I never did, no. Now, did they tell you it was a snail before they even brought it up, or what? Well, it comes, yeah. Well, you can just tell. Because it's in the shell. Yeah. Like it comes in a like little, they're little plastic trays and they're like in, in like divots and the plastic tray has like eight divots and then one in the middle and they're filled with like whatever, probably garlic butter, I would imagine or something like that. I know that parsley's involved. Parsley and garlic parsley. butter. I don't, yeah, I have no idea, but I know they're saucy and drippy. Um, of course I've never ever would eat that, but let me turn my camera off. They have some crunch apparently. Uh, it's that tin. They said it's like uh, chewing a tendon on like another animal. That cartilage. Nice. Like yeah. Snack. Yeah, yeah, it sounds delicious. Yeah, and then it tastes like I don't know what. Like I can't even imagine. Like moss. I don't even know. It's a bug. Like it's fucking gross. So did you see my message earlier? I missed the. Steamboat Cruise Buffet on Bacon's channel, but I called it just a while ago. Right for us to came into your stream. You oh, okay. That? No, I don't think I've seen that video. I've seen that, yeah. Okay, so it's super cheap. It's 44, like 40 some bucks per person. The Riverboat Cruise is like two or three hours long. Check it out. The beer is free flowing. As much beer as you can drink, as much water as you can drink, but every soda is two thirty eight dollars a piece, and it's a canned soda. Oh. But you can drink all the beer you want and water for free. So oh. they're on that goddamn buffet, and you know them nasty Asians. You know how they be. Why, when you cut the fucking, or why do you serve it with the head on, the shrimp, the prawn, or whatever, right? Yeah. As and all the gills on the bottom and everything. And I thought, here we go. 
And now he pulled that head off, and I thought, good job, good job. This motherfucker started so, just crunching on the little legs and everything. Yeah, Mike Chen does that. Uh, and, yeah. And the, did he suck the head? No, I, I don't know. If he did, I missed it because I probably I turned my head. When, he yeah. started, when I see him bring it up to his mouth and those little legs were hanging off from it, yeah. I turned my head. Yeah, that's gnarly. Mike Chen does that. He always says, there's Sean. Hi, baby. How you feeling? Hold on. Okay. Mike Chen does it. He always says that it's like a shrimp cracker. Well, no. He eats the little legs off it. Cracker. I've had the shrimp crackers before. Yeah. I think it's fucking gnarly, too. He just, he, he, he does the same thing. He just holds the back of it and eats them all. What, Sean? I'm going to try to transition to keto. Why? So a ketogenic diet. But why? For my epilepsy. Really? Yeah. So I talked to a nutritionalist today, and I'm going to see a nutritionalist weekly. I feel like Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, question. What is activating? Like, yeah, I want to see you on a weekly basis. I'm like, baby, you can see me whenever you need. Whoa. What? <laughs> well, it, it's cool. Nutritionalists are hard to find, dude. And I can't believe my insurance covers it. It's like a cosmetic thing, it feels like, you know? So what is in your regular diet that's making your epilepsy trigger? Dude, what is I it? I eat absolute junk right now think like college no. think like a college uh uh budget you know all that crap why are you talking like you got a list because i have a cough uh cough drop in my mouth oh, okay as you okay. can tell list or, or one of my triggers <laughs> i know look at listen to rojo imagine imagine a midget with a lisp man that's it i have a cough drop in my mouth the rose set off. <laughs> and it was over here, and you're always like, "What are you talking about this way?" And you keep saying it. Whoa! You know Whoa! I'm like mumbling and lisping at the same time, and he's like, "I don't well, know I if you, I like that guy anymore." You sounded like you had a little bit of a stroke, and I was a little bit worried about you, hon. Huh? He's not stroked out. He's stroked in. He's stroking. <laughs> Whoa! So keto is going to be the key to keep, keeping your seizures under control is what they told you, right? Well, one of the specialists I see, he said it's worth trying out. Well, that's fuck almost it. like voodoo to me. That's that's like try voodoo. It, may, it could help. You know, it's not going to hurt you. it help you. It sounds like wow. voodoo. They have a lot of, I mean, I've done my own research into it. And for epilepsy, it's proved to be very effective. Now, keto is just the Atkins diet, which is a lot of meat. They want to open my head. You, I told you this. They're like, yeah, we'll start right here. And then we'll go, 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 go. He's on. Then what we can do is open that up. He's all. Then we can take your skull out. He's all. We can burn out the tissue. He's all. We'll remove the tissue. He's all. We'll plate up your skull. He's all, then we can put the scalp back over. We'll <laughs> stitch you back up and you're good to go. Did you offer, did you ask for a second opinion? Oh yeah, that was, that, bro, this is where you end up. This is it. That's it. That's the, this is the, the end second of the opinion life. is keto. Shut the fuck up. We use the try surgery for keto. Listen One of the day. These are alternatives mm. for surgery. No. I'm I'm taking all the productive alternatives I can take before I do any surgery. I'm not oh. like surgery is a last, 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 last resort, and that's if I'm like really, really, really fucked up. Well, I would choose keto over surgery. I would choose keto over surgery too. Yeah, so I'm gonna give keto a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so Fuck. keto is is Atkins, but it's minus the whole grains, right? No, I can. No, keto has the whole grains in it. Atkins uh -huh. doesn't. That's right. Yeah, I can eat macadamia nuts. All those like, I could eat nuts. 
Hunt's these good. nuts. Hunt's good. No, nah, they they said nuts, string cheese, celery, peanut butter. Specifically, I string eat, cheese. I am fat, like avocado. Can you eat normal cheese? No, it has to be a string. <laughs> She was just given good suggestions. <laughs> Got her. Which I, I like. I, I want, like, fun snacks. I'm like, what are you going to do? you just going to ruin my fucking diet and, like, take everything cool away? So no more corn dogs, right? Is that out? Oh, yeah, like that? That, I mean, if I'm, if, like, she said, like, slowly, you know, you can't just overnight this shit. Yeah, you don't want to go into withdrawals of corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll suck your <laughs> dick for. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. That was a cheap shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm happy to. It takes discipline. I'm happy to for... fucking, it's happy. Like I said, it takes discipline. It's hard to. to implement a new diet a lot of people can't do it and i'm i mean i'm not saying that i can do it I, I, i'm not saying that i'm like i've done it good for me you know and i'm not being all boisterous it's hard to do no easy money sean easy money you're a determined lad yeah coming from somebody who eats <laughs> fucking fried rice and... <laughs> yeah but do i stick to my diet yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> it's a very very easy diet <laughs> It's only five things. It's pretty easy. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not sure if you're reaching all your nutritional goals. <laughs> yeah, but those are all hocus pocus anyways. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> it's true. Until your vitamin D and C is No, no, no. You no. know he is. You know Doobie. I know, look at him. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> no, no. Go back, to, about you. Go back to the video of him. Deficiency going on in that body of yours. Go back to 2019 and look at Doobie when he was 30. And look at him today and you're like, damn. You need some vitamin <laughs> D? You need some vitamin D, bro? I'll drop off some orange juice in the morning. No. I'm going to the store in a moment. <laughs> no. I don't really like orange juice. Onion, bacon, avocado, cheddar cheese. How are you going to eat the avocado? I'm going to slice that motherfucker up. And eat it on toast like an L.A. bouge? No, I'm going to make mix it in a salad. Oh. Oh, shit. Girl, you going gonna... to start eating salads too? Damn. I've been eating salads. Shit. Salads are good. Salads are good. Eat salads. Yeah, tell Thumbsy that. That's what she told me. That's what the nutritionist said. Thumbsy said that salads are too rojo and he won't eat them. If Ew. salad is a rojo, then I don't want to be wrong. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, that was what Thumbsy's words. Jeez. Are you smoking drugs? I'm glad you're feeling better, Sean. I was worried about you. Yeah, I thought you had the hip. <laughs> He's good to go. He's got to go blow outside. I used to go to Noah Crackhead. We used to go to his house to smoke weed at lunch hour. And uh, he would smoke crack and then... He would immediately get up and run to his fireplace and, like, stick his head up the fireplace and blow the smoke up of it. <clears throat> Asked him one time why he did that. He said, because that way no one else can smell it and they won't call the cops on him. You so, better shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, then. No, I'm dead serious. Johnny was his name. Yeah, he lived right next to the school. So instead of blowing it in your house with the doors closed, you're going to put it to a chimney where it goes out to everybody? Yep. Every, I just want to make sure I was on the right page. Every hit he would take, yeah, he'd run over to the to the fireplace and blow it up the chimney. It is the weirdest thing. Super paranoid. Every hit you take of that crack fireplace. you make. It's oh every hit you take up the fireplace. <laughs> 
But yeah, Johnny got fucked up when he was younger because he tried to, a woman was getting not nice things done and he tried to defend her and the guy hit him in the head with a door plunger and collapsed his skull. What the door plunger? Uh, like, you know, the metal tube on like a screen door that like holds the door to, to close and open slowly. Oh, okay. It's that thing. So yeah, the guy hit him with that. And, and literally, we went and seen him in the hospital, and you know the videos where people have, like, the the skin of their head is literally on their brain because their skull is gone? He was literally like that, sitting in the bed. It was wild. Gross. Yeah, and then ever since then, he had no feeling in his hands, and he had no ability to taste or smell, and, like, a whole bunch of things. But, man, he could smoke crack, I tell you what. <laughs> Like, like nobody's business. <laughs> like nobody's business. <laughs> Didn't affect his crack smoking gland. <laughs> oh, God. Sean, have you ever smoked crack? What? Fuck? I guess that's a no. No. And Doobie, that's a no from you too, right? No, I never have, no. You weren't even tempted, like, oh, let me see what that tastes like. No, when I, I said it, when I started using drugs, I said I'll never put a needle in my body, I'll never smoke meth, and I'll never smoke crack. And but I he can't. snorted it. <coughs> well, coke, <coughs> but not but crack. Smoke dope in the cab. I'll you with the <coughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, crack was the biggest thing around me, though. For Like, crack and pills were the biggest thing. <coughs> I mean, I watched my best friend's mom smoke so much crack. Watch her. <laughs> she would just sit in front of us and just smoke crack. Doobie, you remind me of Slim Shady. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. I was thinking about that the other day, because this was her bedroom that I'm in right now. You could open up. I could see you being like, <laughs> opening up some curtains. And... I, just... I am going to attempt to drown myself. Whoa. Be just like me. <laughs> Whoa. I just remember it. I just remembered it the other day. I was like, man, that was weird. I've had a lot of people haven't had that experience in life. I just remember sitting downstairs and in the kitchen right here, and she'd just be fucking smashing the straight shooter, like burning Brillo, packing it in, just hitting the straight shooter. Like, I'm like, fuck, we were, I was 15 at the time. <laughs> like, she's just smashing it. Yeah. At least it wasn't your mom, Kim Mathers. It's true. Well, then she and then she'd give her son pills at like fifteen as no, well. He would steal them. Well, he, he did that too, but she also willingly gave them to him. It's like, Sean thinks I'm Eminem. No, I'm not. No, Sean, have you ever watched someone smoke crack? No. No, he never has. Rojo has. Well, fuck yeah, I smoke crack joints. Crack joints, baby. Cocoa Puffs. We didn't have a... Because we didn't have a tutor. Oh, my God. Just break a light bulb. You know what? Never mind. I think I've seen uh, some people smoke meth. Unfortunately, <laughs> I was in a bad environment in high school. Yeah. They broke weed bowls of ours before to get the fucking down stem of the bowl to smoke crack out of it. Nah, that's, yeah, that's foul, right? That's like scraping for resin. Yeah, I. You ever smoke uh, you marijuana resin? If you ever smoke uh, marijuana resin off of a tin foil? No. <laughs> I've only known one queen or one person that was a queen that ever did. That's like they would scrape it out and put it on a piece of tin foil and and smoke it like meth. No, chasing the dragon with resin of weed is not good. That's whack. That's insane. Imagine. Yeah. No, that's whack as fuck. You know, my I talked about the black crack though. Those guys that would scrape their pipes and then. Or Mike, the guy that lived here, he would scrape the inside of, like, he'd have a crack can, right? Like, the, the, the smoke out of the Coke can or whatever. And then when he uh -huh. was desperate, he would cut the can in half and literally scrape the inside of the can to get the crack resin out and smoke that. But it'd be mixed with, like, all the 
plasticky shit that's on the inside of the can and like and aluminum bits and whatever. He had just tooted it all though. He should have just licked the can. Like, oh, gnarly, gnarly. And those other guys would scrape all their pipes and then cook black crack because you yeah. can recook the resin. <laughs> Now, were they smart enough to get their crack and then recook it or recut it in the microwave and make it blow up to like the size of a marshmallow? Oh, everybody here only free based. Oh fuck! Like they, everybody cooked all their own stuff. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this this sounds good. Egg and ham cheese cups. I can make with the bacon. Is the bacon the cup? No, you use ham like a piece of ham. Oh, okay. oh, as the cup, cup. and then Weird. the and then the egg inside that cup, and it's in the muffin, uh, muffin tray. Yeah. yeah, we always use bacon to make our oh, that's weird. Sides, put our ham inside and mix the egg up. I like that it. idea. I could do that one day for sure. A little quiche. So, did people not do that a lot there, bro? What freebase? Yeah, like cook their own. Okay, so a lot of people were ignorant about about cocaine, and how do I say this? They were very ignorant. They just wanted to fucking get high. Right. But you had your dealers who who got trained on like put it in the microwave. You just set it and forget it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people didn't realize that you could cut it. Reintroduce a little bit more baking soda, a little bit more sugar. That's right. And make it like a marshmallow in a microwave and make it go further. Yeah. That way they're 15 minutes later picking off the carpet all the little white pieces and try to put it in their pipe and smoke it. Oh. Even though, like, did not drop one piece you're of giving me, You're giving me bad nostalgic memories from when I was 17. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because if you cook crack, you're trying to cook cut in and then smell. if you i remember that smell pretty vividly if you freebase so you're cooking you're cooking it out you said the marshmallow thing and i was like let's see i when i used I to chase those fucking roxies that's how it was it here we're, so fucking bad dude we only had one guy here that did the microwave like a lot of people would do one guy did a ladle over the element of the stove in a big ladle, and he would cook ounces in it. Yep. And it was, like, hard... Like, that's a lot. I don't know. That was always, like, hardcore. Like, you're putting in a lot of fucking shit. Like... But, yeah, no. Every Like, they would just be doing it themselves pretty much all the time. Well, I talked about that guy on New Year's that came and bought a G and then was like, no, no, I want to do it myself. And he just cooked it all out and had nothing. And they were like, bro, you fucking, all you did was waste it. You're an idiot. And then he had to buy another G and then he let them cook it and it, and it worked. I always said that I would always know the smell of a Winston cigarette crack in the air meth in the air and ketamine if it's being cooked in the stove Lol. i will always know those four smells always i don't know that i don't know the smell of ketamine in the stove oh once you smell it you'll never forget it but when you do it it smells cold it smells cold yeah what like, does that mean like you know when you go outside and it's just like winter for like it's starting uh, to get really winter. cold okay okay yeah, yeah, and that, it, like, that. yeah, that, like, cold can... burn kind of smell. I don't know what, how to, but it's very unique. It. Yeah, that's what ketamine yeah. is to me. Kids would come in out of the, out from outside playing and come in, and that cold smell would hit you. Not so much on adults, but more more so on kids. I yeah. Know exactly what you're... That's what it always reminds. And then the, the, the texture of it, because it's, it's like, it's tubes and balls, right? Like. Ketamine powder isn't powder. It's like a crystalline form of ketamine, and the, it crystallizes as tubes and balls. If you look at it really closely, and that always tripped me out. I always saw it on the bottom of the Pyrex uh, eight by eight pan, and it had to be at 217 degrees for less than 39 minutes. And if it went over, or if it got too hot, that smell would come out, and that's when they know, oh, I fucked up. I've reduced my yield. By so much, if they if they smelled it in the oven, 
Oh, because you're just evaporating off the ketamine then. And then they bring it out, they would take the razor blade to it and scrape it off the bottom of the Pyrex. And I, like I said, I didn't get that close to it because I, I didn't like the smell of it at all. Yeah. I, I sure think I'm like getting, I, I've only did it twice in my life. And that was it. I was good. Yeah, I just, I just, that, that, those two things are my biggest memory of like just the type, what it was like. The, it was very weird when you see the, it's not powder, traditional. Like how Coke is like flakes and like shimmering. Right. It's like, it's tubes and balls of crystals. I don't know. It's very weird. No, I didn't get that close to it. Super bad for you, though, that stuff. Well, Elon Musk does it every day. Really? Microdoses it. I don't know if he's baked it down or if he's just doing the liquid form. Probably drops. Liquid yeah. Liquid drops. Microdosing. I don't know about microdosing a, a tranquilizer. Doesn't seem to make a ton of sense, but I guess. Of course, if you had an animal get fixed or had surgery, they've, they've, they've had, had ketamine before. And most children... Yeah. Or like tonsillectomy, tonsillectomy, whatever that's called. Have you ever cr crossed PCP's path? I've never. That's. I, that's... I, I told you this. I think. I think PCP is a urban myth because oh. the history of my life of chasing drugs, I have actively sought out PCP angel dust, and no one's ever had it. No, no one's ever seen it. They've always heard stories. <laughs> that's They've right. Always... Okay. Yeah, that was you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm the same. I've never seen it or, or heard of anybody having it before. <coughs> Only stories. Yeah. Weird. Maybe it's not real. Ooh. Sean, I'm going to show you what's on my screensaver. Oh my god, it's a picture of Sean. Look at that. Oh, he's not even there. I say, Sean, I'm going to show you something. He walks away. <laughs> he's already gone. He already turned. He's already disconnected. He's gone. No, he's here. Sean, come back. He's making his keto eggs right now. Devil on my shoulder. I'm gonna talk. Oh, he's back. I don't really get for conversations. He's not here for conversations, though. Hey. Sean, come back. Rojo's showing you a screensaver. Look That's at so you, funny that you had that up, dude. I had the floating uh, space screensaver on my TV a minute ago. <laughs> what the fuck? It's meant to be. You're it my is, soulmate. Damn. That's crazy. Mine was set up like that just a little while ago. Sean's oh, coming to Toronto God. this summer. The thing is, is, I thought that was my TV, and I was like, how did you get in my house? I was almost said that word. I almost said it, Doobie. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> How'd you get in my house, Rojo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't say that one over here. The devil in my shoulder, you want to talk. That gambling streamer that I, that big degenerate that I watch sometimes, he just actually, well, I haven't watched his stream, only the replays on YouTube, but he just actually got banned for saying that. What? Was it the full say? full six letters or was it the three letters? Uh, he did both, but he said it multiple times and it was directed at someone. Um, he Ooh, did. What? He, he did. Oh, just that. The one, the gambling streamer I've been watching, like his replays, the fucking absolute degenerate. Um, but yeah, he was just, he just dropped the Raho word multiple hey, ways is, and got a month. Is it, is it the young guy with the big nose that lives with his mom and dad and he's always busting up his room? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so funny. I just come across... See, Google listens, because I just come across that shit three days ago. Yeah, it's Boss Man Jack. I, I make references to it on my Slots channel all the time. Yes, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the kid's a fucking straight-up degenerate. Like, it's hey, crazy. Listen. He's, like, only 22, but he looks 42, right? Am I the only one? No, he's actually, like, 33, I think, or something. Okay, well, he looks 53, then. Yeah. Well, he got doxxed a while ago because everyone was I making fun of him gamble. for living at home. Oh, no. But, yeah, he, he's gone. Like, he literally did. 
I watched it the other day. The kid ran 200 into like 12K and then was like, watch this. I'm going to make it 15 and lost the 12K in like 93 seconds flat. It was unreal. He was up 30 grand in the video I watched. Yeah, and loses it in like a minute and a half. Debt. Right? Out of debt. He was out of debt. Yeah. And then he played one of those sliding games, which I don't know how it works from green to red. And it's kind of like um, Baccarat. Either you bet for the house or against against yourself. One of the two. And yeah, that's just, bet. it's just dice. Yeah, that was dice. Yeah, that's his favorite game. Know. So, it was gone. It yeah. Was 90 sec like he said, 90 seconds gone. Yep. Because it's like, it doesn't matter the amount he has. He has to bet like 25% of his entire bankroll every time at least. So like he gets, he gets 30 K and he just starts doing like six K spins. <laughs> it's like, bro, oh, he has a, he has an, a problem, right? I mean, oh, he's, he, I mean, that's the epitome of a problem, right? Oh, uh, he's also a crackhead. Uh, yeah. If you watch, like watch some of the, the videos, once you know this, if you see one of the videos, You'll see him in the corner, and he's just sitting there, like, grinding his teeth. Like, when he gets locked into gambling, he's grinding his teeth. His eyes are just, like, like pitch open. Like, he's, yeah, he's, and he's, there's videos of him, like, showing off crack rocks and paying his dealer and all kinds of shit. So, like, definitely a crackhead. Where does that kid he's, live? Uh, I don't know. Missouri, I think, or Pennsylvania or something like that. got something wrong with him i feel bad for him like i actually feel sorry for him oh he's he's got some problems yeah he's got serious who is this again do you guys know this person boss man, boss jack. man jack yeah now he's just a kick streamer but he's gained a lot of fame in the gambling world for just like being the biggest degenerate ever pretty much <clears throat> and then he begs his community to give him stuff and and like makes a lot of claims that he shouldn't make that i can't say and then subsequently gets money given to him that he loses in like seconds it's wild that's it's crazy how much of a degenerate he is he's done like in the last year or something he showed it a while ago he's done 12 and a half million dollars in bets well at least oj simpson died like yeah o who oj yeah he's dead dead he died he's dead Yep. And you know what I was really disappointed about? No admissions on the deathbed. Yeah, the fuck? Now listen, 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 listen. You know who the three people that were there, right? Okay. So there were two no there was two children and what? Go ahead. It was John. an admission. I'm gonna agree I'm gonna send you the uh uh the link right now and you can tell Doobie. Hold on. Um is it going to be a, are you just sending a rickroll link oh god let's see oh god it's a rickroll i'm scared all right i just wanted him to be like yeah by the way <laughs> i stabbed that bitch <laughs> uh. oh rojo i now that i opened the message said that i sent do you saw the 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 message i sent you of that couple that went to mexico Yes, I did watch that. Yes, I did. How fucking crazy is that, dude? It was... Listen, I had read a story about that, but I didn't know about the video existing. Wow. So as I was watching the video, I was like, oh, I've read this, but I know what's going to happen next. That's... Yeah, that's... Dude, that's totally fucked up. Is that insane? Did they cut their heads off? No. Oh. But the guy had that fucking gnarly operation that was like a 360... They literally got Rick Road, I mean, o over medical expenses, saying, oh, we don't have the technology, but for six grand, we can get it for you. Oh, we got the six grand, now we got it, now we need to pay somebody. We need another 12 grand for that, for somebody to actually use this technology. Yeah, it was, it's horrible, dude. It is, it's a terrible, 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 terrible. Well, that just sounds like America. Oh, you'd be thankful. To the Costa Rica? Is that where it took place at, Sean? Mexico, bro. Mexico. See, oh. I knew you were going to do that to me. I knew you were going to fucking do that to me. <laughs> Mexico. You motherfucker. What? What? He, he, he basically rickrowed me, but different. 
<laughs> Yo. Oh my god, there he is. There, Rojo was just saying, has Thumbsy died? Because he hasn't streamed in like eight months. Doobie. There it is. I left a hate comment I, on your you on your post. <laughs> hate comment. <laughs> 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 I left a hateful comment and I reported you twice. <laughs> Lack of streams. It's like, what the fuck? Report, report. Bro. Oh, that's funny. He doesn't stream anymore. He quit. Oh, Ro, did you know? Did you see that earlier? Oh, we're not anymore. Oh, uh, we were. So all day yesterday, we were sub twinsies. Yeah. What is that? Oh, for like the same number? Yeah, we were the. You were 3, 338, I think, for a while. Or maybe it was 328, one or the other. But yeah, all day for this one day there, we were sub twins for the whole day. Oh. Yep. Are, you, are you starting to beat him? Yeah, I'm over Rojo now. Fuck, dude. You're on the come up, dude. Pretty, pretty soon you're going to be getting 1 million views. A milli, a milli. I don't feel like it. He doesn't feel like streaming. Well, doesn't matter if you feel like it. That's it. Put him back in the cage. Does he have a fear of success? Is that what's keeping him from streaming? He has a fear of success and wide open spaces. So. <laughs> Where's my fucking video at? Wait, how many views do I actually have? Let's see. Now that Sean said that. I don't think I have that many. Oh, 80,000. Okay, so I got my first ever negative feedback on one of my mixes. Are you ready? Uh-oh. Salt Blood one day ago said, I feel like the nature-y theme that was in the first song that you mixed was in conflict with the song in the first half and was very confusing to my ear. So I wrote back, well, I want to show my reply. Okay, there it is. I said, I'm not near my computer to link the song I mixed, but here's another remix I did with that same song. And I cannot thank you enough for the feedback. I had a dozen of choices and soon, and as soon as I heard these two blended, I felt the same way as you, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, you know, I hope maybe some other remixes, remixes please your ears. This motherfucker 16 hours ago said, that's fine. Not everyone is going to like music, even if it is good. Just when it adds some critique to your music, then why the fuck did you open your mouth? <laughs> you hold the fucking line and fucking get the grill and say, hey, this is not work for me. You need to take that down, burn it, and repeat. Don't backpedal. Don't know. Uh, yeah, and then he I called mean, it good. Yeah. Don't be all nice about it after you done said that shit. Fuck yeah. You. Meanwhile, oh, below yeah. him, Black Box Music, which has 15,000 subs and almost 9 million views, has given me three thumbs up and nice on my remixes. I would take the troll's comment over his. I would too. It bothers me. Yeah. I don't know who that Good music, bro. It's true. Do what, Sean? My dog's barking at me. Rashawn said you make some good music. Thanks, buddy. I pre but I would listen. I even I even said, hey, whenever I first put those two songs together, I felt the same way. They kind of don't go together. But I adjusted the levels and I adjusted my my, my uh, spinoff spot, and I really liked it. Good. But I, I, felt, I felt what he was saying. But then he backpedaled and I blocked, blocked. You're dead to me. I don't know who that person was earlier that was like, "Guess who I am?" But Schmally muted them fast. Um, that was weird, though. What happened? I don't know. Just some random account that came in and was like, "Guess who I am? Guess who I am?" Just want to go in this channel? Yeah. And then I guessed, and then they said, no, I'm Sonya. I was like, okay. And Coffee commented at them. And then they said, oh, no, I'm not Sonya. My real name is some other word. And then Shmali muted them. <laughs> so I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think it was John Hand probably, though. My boy. She thinks that a bunch of the troll accounts are John Hand, too, over on the Slots channel, <laughs> which is possible, I guess. Uh, well, you know who I assume everyone is. I know you. Rojo has different assumptions, and I hate it. 
that and I'm not and please don't take this the wrong way. I hate that I don't have a wrench so then I can't just pick click on their picture and it takes me straight to their channel. I have to go in and search them up. <laughs> I have to do those extra steps. But I mean, I mean, I'm not bitching. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I just hate that that one little thing. I can give you a wrench, girl. No, but no, 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 no. I don't, because then I blend in, and they think I'm just a normal. They don't think I'm a somebody oh, special. You're just a normal. I'm just a normal. Oh, the other day too, you missed it. I was fucking with him, but you weren't around. I had one come in, and he like made small talk for five minutes, and then he was like, "Well, what do you do for work?" And immediately followed up by. I'm a video and thumbnail designer. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I wish Ra was here. I told him that he... This is the first category. This is the first <laughs> Yeah. And he kept asking. I said, sorry, my community manager isn't here right now. You'll have to come back another day. <laughs> but she would love to talk to you. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, fun time. I appreciate like the five minutes of small talk to like build up to it. So weird. Almost like they got a little timer. <laughs> they do. My five minutes, <laughs> my five minutes up, I can go ahead and sling it out right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's five lines of speech or five minutes. That's what you get. Then I'm dropping the bomb. Knowing that they're putting that Google to translate, like it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> that is crazy that like we live in a world now where you can literally talk to someone that you have no idea what language they're even speaking. That's so weird. I need one for Gen Z. <laughs> Thumbsy, do you have one of those? I need a Gen Z translator. <laughs> Thumbsy could write you out one. <laughs> He's a little Gen z -er. mm. Yeah, I don't know. So, that. Sean, did we determine what made you sick for those couple of days? I'm still sick. But it's more of like a chest cold. Say that shit with your chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I gotta go smoke a fucking cigarette. God damn. Oh. Look at the trees. I can't believe you have trees there. There's trees in California? What? Sean's in the rich part, though. So great. That's how coffee. Coffee said, yeah, Sean in the bougie part. Look at beautiful. Where are the beautiful, homeless man. people? There are none. Look at the Zally. There's no homeless people. There's no trash, no tents. Are there any needles? Nothing. Look at watch this. Let's see around this corner. Clean. No oh, I can't live that close to a stairwell. I'd be scared to death. That is pretty clean. That's that's looking pretty clean, I gotta say. I'm, and you know I'm not one to say usually. Yeah, look at There's people playing tennis. It's like a regular normal normal city. Do you play tennis, Sean? Me? Yeah. Nah, I never did. I grew up playing it. Look at there's even people skating at the skate park right now. I could On like Doobie. Skate? No, Doobie could be doing a late night IRL. I should be. Yeah. You should be at the skate park, Doobie. Should I? Yeah, on your skates doing jumps. I can't do that. You know that time I did a jump, don't you? And then I slipped right out and landed on my back, knocked the wind right out of myself. Yeah, they have a full skate park. Show it. Where's a guy skating? Is there one in there? Yeah. Do a kick flip. Look. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's Look. cool. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We got a glance at that. He landed it, too. He knew he was being recorded. Yeah. He was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Fucking landed it right in front of that guy. 
Damn. No, this one's for you, man. This one's for you. He's feeling slick right now. You're breaking the law by going down the do not enter line. Yeah, I know. I'm a badass, man. Yeah, you break You breaking laws, bro. Whoa, who, who's this good-looking man? Let's Is see. What wrong? should I do? Should I jump across the street? Break into a car. I mean, no, don't do that. <laughs> Look at—they have a piece of 911 metal. What does that mean? The building from 9/11, the Twin Towers. Why would yeah. that? Why? But you're in LA. I know, but they have a piece that was donated to the city. The fuck? I'm giving you an IRL. <laughs> the fuck is? <laughs> okay. Look it. I'm gonna tell you. Can you touch the piece of metal? Yes, this chunk of metal. Wow. The wow. Can you smell the thermite on it? <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty weird to think of. Is it robust? Is it weird to think that that piece of metal is related to one of the most physics law breaking disasters ever? Dedicated to the memory of the 2,998 victims of 9 11. Yeah. Oh, I'm touched. That's Ralph Badger. Listen, how many of those are there in California? Is that the only one? No, I think there's a lot. Cause I've I've seen I've seen a lot. Why the fuck are they in California though? As the memorial. They're all, over, they're all over the place. Yeah. And like all over America, everywhere. No, no, I mean just in different spots of the country. <laughs> I yeah. mean, isn't that kind of a weird thing to do, though? No, I mean, it's, it's very American. It's homage and dedication. And you know what? The police station's right next to this. It's, the, it's not right next to our city hall. So, Rojo knows. He knows where I'm at. Yeah, Rojo's yeah. like, uh, you're, you're, Doobie's Canadian. He thinks with logic. He wouldn't understand the things Americans Rojo, do. Rojo, Rojo sees my map, and he's like, oh, I have an idea of where he is. Oh shit. That's good to know. Well, Rojo's, he's literally Googling, where is the 9-11 piece of metal in LA? <laughs> I have his address. I don't have to Google anything. his house is like. <laughs> yeah, but he's not there right now. He's like two blocks away. So it doesn't matter. Up. What if he gets Rojo mugged? We have to be able to contact the police right away. Because of, lo because of the local buildings behind me, Rojo is aware of where I am. <laughs> that scare you a little bit in a good way it scares me not really well then i'm not happy <laughs> he creeps me out in the kinky way go in the underground city <laughs> you creep here me out i am look at you want to see what the underground city looks like go get on the subway there's tesla stations <laughs> this not, is our underground city that's pretty not legit at all that's an underground <laughs> shitty. <laughs> no, you're underground shitty. Slim shitty. That's what they... Please stand go. up. I've already stood up. And you shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Are we going to Whole Foods? Vons. What's Vons? You've never... You don't know what you're going to see. He's oh, about okay. to see. Rojo, do you know what Vaughn's you know? is? It's a surprise, yes. Of course, Rojo already knows. Everybody knows but me. It's whatever, I'm used to that. <laughs> it's whatever, I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, on a, you're, you're always in the car with your parents. No, no, I don't know. Where are we going? Huh? We're not telling you. We find out when we get there. I'm like, oh, all right. I, I'm the same as when I'm in the car with Schmoley. <laughs> Vons. Yeah, Vons, obviously. Oh, we're getting a basket? 
Shit, look at that. There's American flags right there. Do you see that? Oh, damn. Do you know why he has a basket? Because you can't afford a, a cart there. Oh, shit. The food is so expensive, what? you can only put it in a basket. So oh, damn. Oh, he's getting he's getting avocados for his new diet. He's getting the avos, baby. That's a good avocado. How can you tell? Is it avocados from Mexico? Yeah. Is it a Mexican cado? Mexicado. Mexico. This is this is great. I'm so happy you guys are with me. Are you gonna get some meat too? Now you can make fun of me. He's getting some uh, meat too. I should get. You know what? Oh, it's a really important thing, part of the diet. I have to start eating meat. A lot of meat, guys. There's meat and corn dogs. And a, a lot of nuts. You could get corn dogs covered in nuts instead of batter. I need to see some prices, sir. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Three ninety nine a pound. That's mm -hmm. price for a pound, right? Not container, but pound. What's in? Each. Yeah, per container. Oh, it's per container. That's not bad. No, no. And then... No, it's sixty three ninety a pound. Five ninety nine each for that thing of drum that. That's a lot of nuts for six bucks. L.A. should be more expensive it than is. that. You how know much? What I always get, guys, is this. How much was that Alvo? What are we paying for a cardo out here? That's about two dollars for a single avocado. Oh, here, they grow them. They grow them. Look at the promo. Look at the. Uh, oh damn, that's a lot of booch. Look at the whole. Holy. The whole yeah, the whole we whole don't. We don't have that much booch here. Not really, anywhere near. Really like this coconut water and this... your video went off for me. Oh, no. But there's too much. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cut out because I'm in here. But I thought it was cool. No, you're not too bad. You should be fine. It'll just be yeah, a little bit spotty. Back it's back now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at these peanuts, guys. What are they? Salt and vinegar? What are the blue ones? Oh, they're... Oh. John, do you ever experience the vinegar sweats? No. What are those? Like, if you they're eat... Made up. They're made up. Like I do be. No, they're not. If you eat salt and vinegar chips too much and you get, like, you get the head sweats from it? I haven't had that, no. I've ate, I've ate a whole bag before and never got a vinegar sweat. Girl! You just got weak vinegar, salt and vinegar chips, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's what it, it's that Canadian vinegar. Yeah. Canadian. Come on, dog. Come on. Do you like broccoli? No. Why does that one look different? That one in the front. What's up with that one? That's the I special. Know. Yeah. Look. Oh, that's he's a short bit of broccoli. <laughs> 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 I like how classy Sean is that he like uses a bag to pick out the broccoli like this like it's dog shit or whatever like he's so proper I would have just been in there manhandling it like I don't give a fuck I didn't eye people around me as I touched it all with my raw hand like yeah bitch go home and wash it it's called being civilized yeah I don't, I don't have that or domesticated <laughs> or body trained those are little heads. Where the hell is the rest of the broccoli? Why are they so little? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you I mean, that's the thing is I can, get, I can get a bigger one. I can get a really big one right here. Like, look at this. But I don't need, I just want to make a small salad tonight. So I think this and this will suffice. It's like we're IRL streaming right now. Legit IRL. Legit IRL. -y. Hey, You'll be monetized tomorrow. Time. True. Sean, let me let me pimp you out to YouTube. Let me pimp you. <laughs> I'll take fifteen percent. No more. No more, no less. Hey Rojo. 
Is that your eggplant emoji? Whoa. Whoa, thick and short is how you like it, huh? I ain't gonna lie to you, that's no, a pretty strong egg, eggplant. There's an eggplant, uh, there's an eggplant uh, omelet, a part of the, re the part of the recipes that I was referred to. That sounds gross. Eggplant actually, doesn't taste that bad. Eggplant's pretty decent. Yeah, it's actually pretty that. good if you've had it before. Do you slice it and roast it? In the oven with some olive oil. Well, you take the seeds out of the middle, sprinkle salt, pepper, and butter on yeah. it. And in the oven. See, Rojo and I could have a good time cooking. Can I sprinkle, can I, instead of oil, can or I, yucca root. can I put ba bacon grease on it? Well, in the South, you can. In the South, it's mandatory. <clears throat> I wish they had pre-chopped onions. I really don't want to chop up onions in that. Oh, maybe so in our relationship, onion. I'm the onion chopper. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could do. I could do that. Yeah. It almost sounds like too much. I don't. I just. I don't want. I want to cut up. Cut out the onion. Yeah, I don't like cutting up onion and garlic either because it makes your fingers stink for fucking ever. Or That's what I mean, on, and avoid the problem. I mean, just simple idea. What? If you put on gloves. Oh yeah, I don't have any though. Uh, do they not sell any? Okay. In <laughs> oh, pre-chopped onion. That's a lot of onion, though. Jesus. <clears throat> I bet that just reeks like sweat right there. Our oh, box. Whatever. A box is stinking like sweat. Onions smell like sweat to me. I'm trying to do better for myself. This is an introduction to tonight. There are some strains okay. of weed that if I walk into the room after it's been smoked, it smells like a uh, It smells like what? Sauteed onions. It smells like sauteed onions. onions. Some there are some cheese. strains of weed. Really weird. Yeah, I don't smell it while I'm, I'm smoking it, but if I walk out of the room, get some air, come back okay. in, it smells like onions. Oh, that's a weird one. <laughs> I want to get Actually, macadamia yeah. nuts from here, but I need to get them from Trader Joe's. Why? How far is the Trader Joe's from you? Is it a very long walk? Oh, it's not far, but they close really early. Is Vaughn's open all night? No, they they used to be up until 11. Now they close at 10. So it's, what, 9.14 my time? Yep. Yeah, so... Sean shopping in the past. Yeah. He's a past shopper. Look at There's keto foods. Now remember, if you buy prepackaged with the word keto on it, it automatically goes up 60% on the price. Damn, 60%? Oh, look. He's, no, he's right. <clears throat> wow. But what is it? Fruit and nut mix? Hazelnuts, almonds, sugar-free dark chocolate, which can actually be pretty good for me. I, I think that I'm going to roll with this keto mix. He's getting the keto mix. We're going to do that, boys. He's saying yes to the dress. Bro, ah. do you like being called boy? You can call me anything you want, buddy. Just don't call me. <laughs> just don't call me late for supper. Girl. <laughs> I just ring the little triangle bell for supper, like I'm in the south. <laughs> Look at. I love how you see one thing in a movie one time, and you're like, "Oh, that's the way it is for everybody." <laughs> <laughs> that's the way that's like real. <laughs> yeah, it's locked in. That's it. <laughs> you silly motherfucker. <laughs> <Crappy>. <laughs> Dude, oh, so that, with this diet, you have to eat like everything is super fattening. I didn't realize that. So you're but gonna... it's good fat. Oh, it's yeah, good. no, it's, it's good fat. So like no reduced fat is the thing. I'm always getting reduced fat. And they're like, nah, get full fat. Because it's different triglycerides. Something with a Q. 
Cheeto. I forget the extra sharp cheddar cheese. This thing's a huge block. I don't need this. Look at that. Mm, I like cheddar. That's a big block. Oh, you got Tillamooks there too. Yay. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing is Tillamooks good, man. Do you have the Kiri's Irish Goat product? Kiri's Irish Goat? Uh, is that butter? Yeah, well... They have a butter and a cheese line, but Carrie's Goad is the name. Irish Goad is the name of it. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> is that the good stuff? Pure oh, Irish God. butter. Yeah, she told yeah. me to start getting. This is what she told me to start getting is uh, grass fed. And no, I'm thinking the, of salt in my head. I'm, the, like, I'm like, girl, who do you think I am? The salt is uh, uh, sea salt also. It's wow. not. It's, it's, good, it's good butter. No, you're right. Bougie AF. This is why I need to go to Trader Joe's because that stuff's a lot cheaper. What would what would the price be at Trader Joe's? Half or forty percent? This less? would probably be the same. Like yeah, probably be a little bit cheaper. About two seventy nine dollar less. But whatever. You know, if you put it in your pants, it's free, right? It's true. Yeah, but I'm I'm not that kind of guy. What's up, Quantum? Well, we can't go shopping then. You're going to be all Aww. honest about it. I got to, I go to the self-checkout. I get that $100 down to about 50 60 That's what they made self-checkout for. That's why I use the self-checkout. No sugar. This is what I mean. Crazy taste. Uncut. Man. Damn, $10. For a, is it twelve? Is it sixteen ounces of bacon for twelve bucks? Let's for see. Let me see, bro. Ten. This is ten ounces, bro. Shut the fuck up. Ten. A dollar an ounce for bacon. <laughs> <laughs> We're on an IRL with Sean Quantum. You should see my brother. He freaks out on some of this stuff. He's like, "This is nuts." No sugar. But of course, all this stuff that says no sugar is filled with sugar. Well, naturally. You know how much sugar milk has in it? It's fucking crazy. It's, it's, it's one of the diabetic trips that people, that are diabetic, don't realize. How much sugar is in milk? In milk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with that, though, because I need to, I just want to try this out. Like, I really do want to give this all a shot tonight. And sugar and ketchup, too. Oh, yeah, a ton. There's so much sugar and ketchup, they make sugar-free ketchup. You know that, right? Yeah. But have you had the habanero ketchup? No. Oh, man, it's good stuff. Oh, I should have told... My mom was just there, too. I should have told her to get some. Damn it. <laughs> I like how you're remembering things now. <laughs> Shit. Well, I had it at Holly's sister's house, and she's like, well, I only could get it in the States. And I was like, oh, that's good. Well, it was, you said it was sugar free ketchup? No, no, it's habanero ketchup. It's Heinz habanero oh, ketchup. Yeah. Okay, now I need whole milk. Not partial oh, milk? Ten dollars for that string cheese. How many ounces is that string cheese? Twelve? Well, that's the thing, is I'm not getting this tonight. I'm just. This is six ninety nine. For how much? For twelve ounces. ounces. That's yeah. God damn. Yeah. How much is that in Kentucky? Oh, first of all, at the twelve, it would be like a half that price. But we had these uh, buy more, get save a little bit more money bags. You can get twenty four ounces <laughs> for that price. <laughs> wow. And then look at the pepperoni down. What's here. up, pig? <laughs> oh, yeah, good Ten stuff. <laughs> Ten bucks? Like Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Just for a sack of pepperonis? Yeah, I'm going to wait on that. Dibby's like, I got a sack of salami over here you can have for free. <laughs> Freebie, baby. I caught a couple nuts, too. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> You, oh, you can just suck the protein off the surface of the nuts, though. <laughs> and it's gluten-free. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sean! Look at, look at, look at, 
how so much so much is or how much some of these prices are. Look at spices. Oh, we, got, we got that same brand. How much is it? <coughs> Fuck Take me. a look. Look at that one was twelve ninety nine. American. That's American. You ready for this, boys? Twenty nine ninety nine. What is it? Is it for vanilla bean? I bet it's a vanilla. It's bean. vanilla beans. Yeah. Damn. Oh, man. That goes right in my pocket. Right in my motherfucker. That's like 40 bucks Canadian. Like 42 bucks Canadian or something. That's For insane. two pods of vanilla. Two, two vanilla pods. I could buy it here and mail it to you cheaper. You could grow it. <laughs> wow, that's crazy Here's expensive. McCormick. McCormick's a lot more and cheaper. This is a, this is what I'm using tonight, the garlic salt, and that's one seventy nine. Hold on. Oh, okay. How much is that? This is one seventy nine. No, no, no. Is it eight ounces? Because I see oh, an ounce on me. That's three ounces. That's not bad for for dollar ninety nine, right? One one seventy nine. That's not bad. And then Doobie, this is where you got the cornbread. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, well, how much is that? Is Five that bucks. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is it just add water or do you have to add egg and milk and oil? That's no, just add water. Okay. And then you're probably going to get one of those. I don't know what I should get for a dessert. Oh, well, I have that hazelnut mix. So you're saying in, in our relationship, hazelnuts is going to be a part of your diet, right? <laughs> because, no, 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 no. Let's get it. I can't stand the smell of hazelnut, much less eat it. And if it's like in a package, if something's in a package with hazelnut, I won't eat it. Because the smell would be on it. Really? Fuck yeah. Only ha any other nuts or only hazelnut? Only hazelnut and tomatoes are my two lines. And really? I can't eat fresh water, but I would love to. I love fresh water, but I can't eat it. Why? I belch it for like the next 24 hours. Um... Uh, bacon bits, the fake bacon bits, they have celery salt, and I built celery for 24 hours. Bacon bits. The fake bacon bits, the fake one. It's Vaughn. It's Vaughn Quantum, right? Is that what you Is that where Vaughn's. you are, Sean? Vaughn's, yeah, Vaughn. Sean, have you tried that that uh, cereal line yet? The Magic Spoon? The high protein one? Is it in front of me? Oh, yeah, yeah the one in front of you. Yeah, the Magic Spoon. Have you tried that? No, I have not. So I got some on discount, right? Because I couldn't sell it because that shit's so expensive here. It's about the same price as it is there. That is some nasty fucking stale ass cereal. Stale as a motherfucker. Oh, don't get it. No. You're gonna say it. something better about it. Yeah, but you see, you see, Mike oh, Chen promoted the shit out of that. Look at how Mike Chen. Look at Rojo's. <laughs> somebody ate it. Yeah. Oh. That's me. I would have done that. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't really need cereal right now. I got other things. I'm just going to attempt this tonight. And... Damn, that was what is your nice favorite go-to cereal, Sean? If Press price facts. isn't an Come issue, on. what's your favorite go-to cereal? Price was not an issue right now. And I just wanted to get anything. I would probably go for... Um... I don't know. I I already have this at home. I have Life cereal. I really like that stuff. The blue box. Yeah. I like Cinnamon the blue. Crunch is fun to mess around with. Doobie's favorite up here. Yes. Oh, Four ninety nine. Mm. What? It's on sale right now. No way. That's cheap. Oh, what? I buy a whole case of it. I yeah. buy a whole fucking case. That's cheap even here. Like here, it's like fucking eight dollars a box. Dude. Yeah, that's you know some of the good stuff that I like to get. Except your box is different to ours. Peanut yeah, butter puff. That's a nine point six box. Oh. Do you like the Reese's Puffs, Sean? Reese's Puff cereal. Look how the gross this looks, guys. <gasps> oh, the other day, I saw it. I saw it. That is gross. Why? Yo, have y'all seen the late the IHOP Lay's potato chips as strawberry uh, pancakes? No. With maple syrup and bacon? No. And it's potato chips with strawberry. That sounds horrible. Maple, vanilla, and You know what's crazy bacon. is I need something for tomorrow. For in the morning. What should I get? 
So morning? I watched this yeah. short. I, what's Passover? That's a, that's a Jewish thing. It is, uh -huh. It's a Jewish holiday. Yeah. So I watched a short today, and the guy was like, "Okay, Coca Cola tip for everybody that likes Mexican Coca Cola. Whenever it's around Passover, if you go to your grocery store and you see Coca Cola bottles that have yellow lids." instead of the red or the gray that they normally have that means those coca-colas were made with cane sugar because jewish people can't have normal sugar during passover so coca-cola actually puts out a whole bunch of special coca-cola in all the grocery stores that are made with yellow. cane sugar yeah if they have yellow lid the two liters have yellow lids that's what he said anyways all right check it out the green ones are supposed to be sugar cane sugar also too right the green the green tops okay isn't that true, right? I haven't heard that. Yeah. You're gonna look for Doobie's fan. No, I hate banana. Have you heard that quantum? I haven't heard the green top thing, but maybe. Sugar cane, yeah. When we were watching the Dance and Bacon's video and they were making the sodas in the, in the ice machine, there were some that had green tops. Remember me saying, oh, that's the cane sugar one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in that like slushy, in that swooshy around machine, right? And when you go to the Mexican restaurant here, the the Coca Cola bottles say on it cane sugar. Yeah. And they, there's no there's no uh, high fructose uh, corn syrup, HFS or whatever it's called. It says cane sugar on it. That stuff's AIDS for the human body. Seventy six cents. What? It's a damn yeah. good sale. On the Gatorade. <laughs> you need those electrolytes, Sean? He's swooping. Yeah, he's swooping you better be fueled up, boy. You need that energy, girl. I'm going to drain those electrolytes right out of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. What? Don't say to me. Don't say to me. All right, all right, all right. All right, so all no right. candy? Good job, no candy. No, I guess I need to start cutting back. He's not allowed to have candy on the keto diet. Did the did the caveman have candy? No, they had honey. They had honey, and that they had to get like eight bee stings to get it, so. Minimum. You know, what I, you know what I need to do though is get some celery, and some my brother has peanut butter at home, but I like this stuff. You like chunky or smooth? Like creamy. Oh, you don't like chunky, bro? You're a skippy? Really? I am. You ever had peanut no. butter? Let's see. Ah, oh, here it is. The no sugar. That's it. At least you're not drink eating the natural one. That one's real. I never figured so. you were a skippy kind of guy. Never figured you. Yeah, that's right, bro. Does that change things? I prefer the Kroger brand of honey. Honey, yeah, honey. The Vons. Honey Yours, your equivalent to Vons is Food Lion. Never heard no, of no, that. No, 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 we had a Food Lion, but we, but we, who said Food Lion? Quantum did. Oh, okay. That she's in the South then right now. Food lines a South staple. Is that like Vaughn's? That's like your Vaughn's? Would you say or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Food line would be equivalent to Vaughn's because they're less expensive than a Kroger, but more expensive than a Walmart. Right. So ours are like Superstore. Like Superstore and Loblaws own everything. So we have like Superstore and then we have below that. Superstore is middle, Loblaws is top. And then like. Phil's food basics. How do you say that word again? Loblaws? Loblaws. Spell that for me. Um, L A B L A W. S. L like Loblaw. Like blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like Loblaws. Loblaws. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is that a horrible name? Well, that, does that sound normal to you, sir? <laughs> Loblaws. Yeah, we go to Loblaws. It's like <laughs> Wawa. I thought Wawa's was a joke. I thought it was a short for Walmart for years. 
No, yeah, and then, but that's literally what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Wawa. we're getting one here where I live. We're getting a Wawa. But I mean, sheets isn't much better. S H E E T S sheets. Yeah. Or S E. S H E I T S. No, I think it's S H E E T S. That's the equivalent of Wawa, but on the other side. Oh, that's like a, a little <laughs> hyper convenience store. Yeah, and they do like food and coffee and whatever, like the same yeah. as Wawa. Yeah. I heard that <laughs> Wawa, you can go get a good lunch at Wawa as well, was told. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Art goes there all the time. You, yeah, you get your sandwich, <laughs> you get your chips, you get your drink, and you get your dessert. Four things. <laughs> For like four ninety nine. Yeah, and they do like they have like a coffee bar and all kinds of stuff apparently. Fucking Amba, double A Amba used to go there to eat like fuck five days a week. <coughs> and I think Arts in the there's a couple of states that have both Sheets and Wawa. <coughs> and I think Arts in one of those. I think Nebraska might have both. I've never even heard of the name Sheets. I've never. Yeah, I only I seen it on a BMX channel, and they were they go there uh, after they go BMXing, and they it, it was like a staple of the channel. That's the only reason I know about it. Well, your Canadian tire books freak me out. I can go get my tires rotated and a hot dog in the same spot. I, I, <laughs> that, that blows my mind. <laughs> Canadian tire box don't exist anymore now, though. Now they're just what? online. Well, they're just digital now. They're just like we're women, though. You still can get a hot dog while you get your tires rotated, right? At Canadian Tire? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's still crazy to me. Well, but it's it's like a different... It's kind of a different thing, though, because, like, the hot dog is a booth outside of the Canadian Tire. But they all have one. But it's not... it. I don't, it's not owned or operated by Canadian Tire, though. Uh, like, similar... A weird thing in the arenas here, like... And probably in a lot of the states, too, I think, is the convenience places in arenas and in sporting centers, they're not owned by the sporting center. They're usually I mean, privately owned. What are you talking Oh, like, like a hockey rink arena. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like if you're at, if you are at like a they're baseball. is independently owned. Yes, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not owned by the arena or anything. They're actually run by an independent owner. Which is just weird, kind of. Like, because why? <laughs> like, they all have one and they're profitable. So, like, why would you bring in another independent owner to do it when you could just run it yourself? Or not have the headache of owning and operating and costing and just make 20% off from it. I, I would do that in a heartbeat. I guess. Maybe that's why. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I just always thought that was weird. But, yeah, I suppose. But it's similar. I think we lost Sean's connection. He died. Are you telling me I'm a I'm a widow now? That's you're, what you're, wid you're a widow. He died. He's dead. Sean's out. He's gone. He's a gonzer. Thank God I got that insurance policy on him two days ago. Shit, ten milli, baby. You're worth more dead to me than alive. <laughs> and it's that L.A. insurance policy, so that's that it's good that good. Over <laughs> twenty four hours to deposit my. <laughs> <laughs> no question yeah and they have to give you the quality of life sean ned so eight dollar avocados you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, that, that california lifestyle on a kentucky wage <laughs> that's okay. all coffee needs to find out coffee just need to be moving yeah kentucky but make the cali money that's the dream i guess <clears throat> God, you'd be so, so wealthy. That would be insane. I don't know what her speciality in business or what she does for work. I'm sure it's something very catered. Like, only you could do it in Cali. You know what I'm trying to say? Oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah. And unfortunately, like, well, nowadays, so much of it is all done at home anyways. But, oh, God, now Canaban, she's here. Where's she been? She's been MIA for a while. Yeah, uh, she's been gaming with her husband, I believe. But yeah, they don't... I, even though everything's done from home, I still feel like they just won't let you, you know, 
You still have to live in Cali. It's not like you can just go to another state or whatever. You still have to be there to, to be part of it, which is weird. When I found out that J-Lo had a person on her payroll that just, his only job was to hold the straw in her soda for her, and he oh. made 60 grand a year, and only worked eight months a year, I was like, wow, you could never do that in Kentucky, only in California. <laughs> True. Well, what's his name? Had a blunt roller, right? That was like 120000 a year or some shit. The Snoop, is that right? I think so, yeah. Dedicated blunt roller. Which is a little bit ridiculous, but... I've been minding my business. Oh, yeah, she quit. She quit fucking... Wendy's? Yeah, again. Yeah. It's her... How many times have you quit that Wendy's, though? Banshee, honestly. Honest question. Because I feel like you're probably the at least that Wendy's store hold record holder for like most times quitting the same store. While you're on that subject, can I ask you a trivia question? Yes. Now, I'm, there's a number that's in my head, right? And a group of friends all agree to this number. Okay. How many times did Diva get get fired and rehired at the shell on St. Catherine street, which was owned by a Korean oh, number God. of times. 14. You're halfway there. Shit. 28 times. Hold up. Diva did a no call, no show. Mark, the owner came to his apartment, said, what's wrong. They talked. He said, well, let me give you a little bit more of a raise. You come in tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Okay. No call, no show the next day after it got a raise. Swear to God, I can't make that shit up. Jesus. 28 times he was hired and fired. Yeah. Diva was, uh, Diva was a character, huh? You just, you don't, I, yeah, I could sit down and just tell you, I could write a book about Diva. I could write a book. Just about Diva. Uh. Wild bitch. Six foot fucking eight. Yeah, that's a, that's whiffy sized. That's a whiffy sized motherfucker right there. <laughs> I would definitely would have gone to work with a pep in my damn step. Three times you've been hired and fired. Wow. Your poor fucking managers that keep rehiring you. Have you ever. Kelly's local dollar general today, which is a mile and a half from her house. Well, and there was two workers in there, and a the guy was like, hey, you, you think you maybe can ring me out? Even though there were three self-checkouts right there at the Dollar General. Okay, sir, I'm on my way up there. And she's like, I'm really, I really apologize. We're severely understaffed. If you know anybody, here, take 10 applications with you. And if you pass any strangers, just give them to them. Swear to God. That's well, what she said to this man. Swear to God. That's a weird thing and then to when say. I got to you, she was like, you're not looking for a job, are you? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> Do you know anybody? I was like, no, I don't know anybody. Wow. Turns out... And I was like, trying, I was trying to keep eye contact with her while I was checking myself out so I can steal half my shit. She was there ru ruining my vibe. Almost made me pay for everything. Ruining my vibe? <laughs> Bitch, I'm trying to break a law here. Go away. Oh... Uh... I'm trying to use my five finger discount, honey. Stop looking at me. That's why I chose the self checkout. Hello. How, your dollar stores have self checkouts? The one that's down from Kelly also has fresh produce. Most Dollar Generals don't have that. They have a fresh produce and vegetable section. Yeah. And three self checkouts. Three and two regular registers. Yeah, that's weird. She's got a like. She's got a very very nice Dollar Gen. Well, the food thing we like we don't have that at our dollar stores, right? Like, most don't. Only the there's only a few that do have the the produce section and the and the uh, three self checkouts. <clears throat> yeah, that's weird. But she's also in a part of the county that they're ten miles from the regular city. Either way that they go, the next closest big city with like. A Kroger or a big grocery store is 10 to 12 miles. So they're in a perfect spot. Wow. How many dollar stores you got there? 
one every 10 miles. But like how many, but how many types, like you have dollar general and then do you have, do you have the other okay. ones too? Like we have a, we have a dollar tree and a family dollar, but the family dollar dollar tree is combined. They bought one of them bought the other. So now they're doing uh, combo stores where half of it's family dollar and the other half is dollar tree, which is a dollar 25 store. Oh, weird. But if you just read the articles that just came out two weeks ago, supposedly they're closing like over 300 family dollar and dollar tree stores independently of each and also combo stores. Oh shit. Dollar general just kicking their ass. They can't, they can't compete with dollar general. Yeah, we have, I mean, we have equal dollar general and dollar tree. We have a lot of dollar tree too. But then there's like, I feel like there's like one kind of off brand that we have that's around too, but not like overly popular. There are still 99 cent stores, Colorado, Cali, and one other place that exists. Of course, believe it or not, it's still less, it's, it's trashier shit than the dollar twenty five tree store. The 99 cent store is tr straight up trash. Like you're just going there for disposable shit. Yeah. The Dollar Tree, you can actually get stuff and stuff and make crafts with, and actually use it, and not just a one-use turn, you know, time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not yeah, a single yeah. shot. What up, vibe? No, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, we have them close to each other too. Like literally, Dollar Tree and Dollar General, we have a couple spots in the city where they're right, they're fucking right across the street from each other. But yeah, Holly, Dollar way. General. Dollar General. Well, if they were allowed to. They would build right on top of a Walmart. You know that, right? <laughs> they're not scared one bit. They have their own clientele, and they're not worried about Walmart at all. Yeah, we all of ours are actually really close to Walmarts, now that you say that. Kind of weird. But your Walmarts are all... Like, we only have... We only have, like, two, I think, here that are super Walmarts. Like, you guys have way more of those. My little hometown is to the world, the home of the world's smallest Walmart. It's one of the original builds from the 80s, and they never went uh, Super Walmart. So it's about the size of a Kroger. Oh, it's just a baby Walmart. So, But does it still yeah. have all of this, like, produce and all that stuff, too, then, or no? Fuck no. They've got three aisles of food, and it's all snack foods or canned foods, and you don't have that much selection. You have the Walmart brand, and you have the Campbell's. And you don't have that many to choose from Weird. in the world small or my little hometown. There are at least three dollar stores in most towns in the south. Within ten miles of each other. And it's you know like... what? You can't be do your dollar stores have the dollar aisle? Mm, I mean, not, not that that doesn't sound familiar. You you'll have laundry detergent. Now they're smaller sizes, but they're still a dollar. Oh yeah, we have Every, that. Yeah. And and like it's it's name brands like Gain, Forox, Cheer, whatever. But they're yeah. just smaller sizes for a dollar. Yeah, and you'll still find, you'll sometimes find name brand stuff too that's been like dented, damaged, or whatever, and they'll still have that sometimes too. On the clearance aisle? Yeah, or just in the dollar store for like much, much cheaper occasionally. Oh, Sean's back. She back? What did you guys think of those prices? She bang, she bang. Oh, I baby. Never, I, I just couldn't pay those prices. There is no way. I thought it seemed about right. LA, as from what I've heard, you know. Oh, yeah, it's on par. Yeah. Yeah. But crazy high, though, yeah. Looked appropriate, right? Yeah. And you're at the cheaper store, right? Because there's stores no, that charge way more I'm than at, that. I'm at a pretty expensive. That's location. a premium price, though. Bro. Did, I didn't know Walmart did convenience stores. Wow. Listen to Banshee out here talking shit. You're from Ohio. <laughs> you probably don't have Walmart in your hometown anymore because a train derailed through it. Ah, 
pearl. <laughs> You're poor and a tree. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I apologize. I had I felt insulted. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just have to with Banshee. <laughs> You're poor. <laughs> I didn't say that. Rojo said it. I I'm... said what he was thinking. True. That is Rojo, true. Rojo filled in the gap. Hey, Sean, have you ever looked up the number or percentage of people that have front teeth like your, your front teeth? That are turned inward. With that? Your front teeth are turned inwards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have Do two I family see? members with those same teeth, and there's a saying about those people. What's that saying? It's, a, it's, it's an old lady's tale, of course. What is that? Um, uh, that in a former life, you may have been a rabbit. Oh, is that so? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And rabbits just... are two things. They're pure evil or pure good. One of the two. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, they're one of two. Sean, brother, I'm going to be making bacon in a minute. Making bacon. Damn. Are you making it in the oven? Just letting you know. I'm going to make it in the oven. Oh, the, the, whole, the whole pack? I'm going to open up the doors and get some air in here, but I'm going to be making it. Cause it's Wait a minute. Do you have salad. a ventilation system over your oven? Huh? huh? Does your oven oh, yeah, not have a yeah. ventilation? No, no, no. Between Sean brother and I, that's how it works. We don't like to use the oven past a certain time unless we have an arrangement between us. You don't use can the you, oven past a certain time? I need well, to hear yeah, this thing on that. We, we, we clear the room, so he's not using that at like 11 o'clock, and I'm not going to use that shit at fucking midnight. It's just wrong. Why? Because it's annoying, the room smells, and it's just... Oh. I so... I think it's all effed up. Whenever we start shacking up, am I not going to be allowed, be allowed to cook bacon at 11 o'clock? Or turn oh, the oven on at 11 o'clock? Those are different things. Oh. oh, okay. These are our things. Okay. Because so I'll go in there right now at midnight and put some bacon in the oven if you, if you want me to. <laughs> Brother and brother and I coexist. <sighs> Can a banshee? Just because I speak the truth isn't my fault. I'm sorry. No, I got it all. Oh, I'm I'm taking it in. Can a banshee? Stupid. That's what I'm taking in right now. <laughs> Are you going to do your other part of your um, daily series that you get off the phone call, sir? What? Are you doing two shots in one night, yesterday and today? Sean bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do your quiches in, in ham? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't get that. Sean's like a little European going out and shopping for just one meal. It's so European of you. That's Kind of how I like to do it because I don't want the refrigerator full of shit. Want to use Cannon Banshee's uh, discount at Wendy? Oh no, sorry. No, she. Ah! That's <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Let me reach for that. <laughs> I'm smoking a cigarette, you silly motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I want an ambient smoke cigarette. God uh, damn. <laughs> I had to. Yeah, bitch, I had to. You understand. <laughs> I know, baby. You're used to going to bed three hours ago. It's true. Oh, bro, you hear that rain? Is it storming there? It's not storming, but it just started coming down really hard. It's fucking rain have here all day. Have you ever seen the rain? Have you ever seen the rain? Across Africa? I want to know. No, that's the morning. I have a light. 
Isn't it? Is it? Is it shit, you fucking degenerate? Oh my god! I thought John. I thought it was Sean's brother or something for a second. Uh, <laughs> Scared me. Yeah. Oh god, she's so loud. Oh hey, what's up? What's up? Hi Rojo. Hi Sean. Hola. You're so loud. Oh my god. Good. Maybe you can fucking hear me for once. Oh my god. She's going nuclear. I know, it's cause she's from Ohio. Stop fucking saying I'm from Ohio. She's got that she's got the train nuclear waste poisoning. It's okay. It's okay. You're not wait, you're not from Ohio? No. I'm I swear you I keep saying you're from Kentucky and you always say, I'm not from Kentucky, I'm from Ohio. I'm from I'm not from Kentucky or Ohio. I'm, I'm pretty Ohio. sure you always say I'm from Ohio. That's because you don't fucking listen. Oh. Ah. Accurate, but... Maybe if your high ass opens your damn ears once in a while. I'm pretty sure you're from Ohio. And I'm pretty sure you can kiss my ass. So okay. What happened to the Wendy's job, huh? They make you mad again? Uh, it was getting to the point, uh, they were getting on my goddamn nerve. Like, I specifically asked them to stop putting me in the fucking window because I kept getting in trouble with customers being assholes. And the, uh, assistant manager telling me that I had an attitude when I didn't have one. Like, I came in one day where I was in a really fucking good mood. I had all that goddamn energy. The second that she says that I need to lose an attitude, I get one. And get sent home. Wow. So I put my two weeks in, and uh, they decided to let me finish out my work week, and they let me go. Thank God for that, am I right? Fuck off. <laughs> so you quit? Yeah. So you got fired, though, kind of. I mean... I guess... Can you draw unemployment? No. It's America. What the fuck do you say? Well, you only worked there for like six weeks. <laughs> I worked there for a year and nine months. <laughs> yeah, but in total, or is that including all? Is that all the times you quit? Yes, that's in, that includes the times that I took a break. Well, oh, so but how much? How much time since the last time you quit? Uh, nine months. Yeah, so not even a year. I mean, uh... and uh, at least in Kentucky, you have to work one quarter, but it has to be one of the right quarters. I know that doesn't make sense, but you have to work at least three months, but it has to be a specific three months that you worked in. Yep. Did you work in the? You worked in the bad three months, huh? Canavan, you worked in the bad three months, unfortunately. Shane drew unemployment so much that he got put on this special thing that he can't draw for 10 more years because he drew so much. Man. He maxed it out three times in 10 years. His unemployment? Yep. And then he went for a fourth time. They said, no, you're going to have to at least volunteer for 20 hours a week. And he's like, girl, fuck that. I'll just go get me a real job. And then he got a real job? Mm -hmm. As a latex tester? Yes. Shit. And he tested the latex with his butthole. Every day. Twice on Sunday. Sheesh. Sounds like a lot on Sunday. Sundays are hectic. Sundays are fun days. That's what they always say. Unless you're in <laughs> Shane's world. Shane's world. Lube it up. Excellent. Woo! Oh, damn. That sounds hot. Oh. Where's Sean go? Where's Sean? Sean's muted. He's he's putting the bacon on the tray right now, probably, or something. It's in Sliding tray. the bacon in the oven. I had to do some dishes. <coughs> he's dishesing. So you're making that whole pound of bacon, Sean? Am I right? It's not a pound, it's 12 ounces, or 10. What do you mean it's not a pound? I'm not making the whole thing, I'm just gonna make a couple of pieces. What? You gotta make the whole thing? 
You're dirty in a pan anyways. You just make a whole thing, throw it in a bag, you put it in the fridge. I put it in parchment paper. Oh, man. Like, like fresh bacon next time I make it. Is that heavy? You got it. You're committed. My oh, dude. No, it's That's how I like it. I like it like that. No, 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 no. I like it like. Is Canabanshee like talking in chat and on mic at the same time again? Yes, I'm talking to Quantum. Mind your fucking business. You know how much that annoys me, right? You know how much you annoy me? I have an idea, but. Yeah, I still come in to your chat he's, and talk. He's here for other people. Yeah. He's not here for you. Oh, that, for I, I came in for other people and to yell Go at to school. Shit. Yeah, she should go to school. She's ignorant as fuck. So, where, where have you? What have you been doing for like the last three, four months? We haven't seen you in chat or anything. I, I was gonna um, say the same thing. I haven't seen her. In quitting a jobs. Honestly, uh, yeah, doing applications and avoiding doobies for this exact fucking reason. Why? Well, Cause I'd call you out for being a job quitter. No, because you like to talk shit, and then, you know. How's your kid? He got into trouble. I'm pretty sure his dad's raising a serial killer. No, that sounds good. Right? Is he killing small animals? Hearing, your, hearing that your child threatened to kill one of his teachers. Oh, uh, but it wasn't oh. an animal. It was a teacher. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't want to say it, but I was thinking it. No, I know. Do you have? Have y'all never seen Doobie and his mother in the same car together? It's magical. <laughs> oh God, here we go. It's magical. <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> I don't think I've actually right. ever caught uh, any of Doobie's streams where his mom's on cam. Oh, oh I heard Marvin on my express line. Oh. She was doing slots with him. Oh. <laughs> I think about that day sometimes. I get sad and lonely and I just get all warm. And <laughs> Put up a side of mom. Put up, Pull up <laughs> Girl, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> Such a good memory. It's a core memory. <laughs> it's a core memory. When she said motherfucker, I. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Whenever Tater was in town. <laughs> Whenever potato is here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh it was when we drove to Toronto. <laughs> I streamed the whole thing. <clears throat> I have a question. Oh. Uh, there's some. There's a couple of people missing. Where the fuck is the boy? Who? Um. Oh, he's out there. He's playing mine. He's busy playing Minecraft. Oh, no. He's playing a Minecraft. He's a Minecrafter. But I don't understand why he doesn't stream it. If you're playing it, you might as well push live. And, because and there's a very bad stigma around you, uh, Minecraft YouTubers. Really? Yeah, they're all weird gingers. Yeah, they're all fucking pedos. You can't say that word. They're all gingers. Uh, Quantum, I actually checked on Potato not that long ago. She's fucking fabulous. She's still streaming, uh, VR shit. She was literally in my anniversary stream. Oh, was she? Yeah, I wasn't here for that. Updates are always nice, guys. Stupid. Yeah. So that's good to hear. I was just perusing Twitch and, uh, she popped up to being online. Twitch is AIDS. So are you. So's your face. None of those statements are accurate, but... You give me a headache. 
Good. You know who you give a headache to? The Wendy's girl. Poor lady. Whatever her name is. She's probably a distant relative of Thumbsies. Did Rojo get the spark up? The Did cigarette? I'm, so, I'm almost done. I'm almost it's done. Just a cigarette. Is it 100 mil? Yes. Bro. Uh, that you did before. But Sean, don't you tell me it was Canna Banshee that gave it to you. Yeah, that's the cigarette and it came out to the bar. And you know it makes me sad. You're gonna go pee and we're going to bed. Yeah, Mocha, we're going pee and we're going to bed. It's bedtime, Mocha. It's bedtime, girl. Where's the ball cat? He has. I tried to show him to you earlier. He's been laying in this um, laundry basket that's got folded laundry in it ever since I came here. Like, that's his spot. He chose it while I've been here. Weird. <laughs> He's mad in hell because I don't have Kelly's bedroom door open. So he can't go in there and wipe his fucking block balls all over the fucking pillows and make me itch. <laughs> Matter of hell. Make me itch. Make me itch. No, we'll go out the other way because I saw a puppy out there earlier and I don't press it. I don't feel like you jerking me all over the fucking yard. Uh oh. Is it an so open. I turned this, turn this light off so the bugs don't come in. Because the outside light. I just lost it. Ready, set, go. Is it okay. an open yard, not fenced? Hold on. Hold on, I'll turn it on. Hold on. Yes, it's not fenced. Look at there. Bam. Smarty. Woo! Is this TOS if a dog takes a piss on stream? Uh, you're not on stream. Uh, you knew better, didn't you? Yeah. You come prepared. Aw, puppy. Banshee had a dog. Has. Then she cooked it and ate it like a witch. Has. Then she cooked it and ate it like a witch. I still have him. Oh. <laughs> I still have him. You know what I don't have? Common Patience sense. for Doobie. Oh. Oh, that too. No. Uh, apparently, I don't have two female cats. Are they been homosexual this time having sex? Uh, no. Apparently, the first cat that I adopted before I adopted their mother is a boy. I thought it was a girl. I had Couldn't to rename the fucker. You know, there's a di you know that one has Audi and one has an Innie, right? Or were you not taught that in, in o Ohio public school? Hey, jackass, his balls just dropped and my husband noticed it. Wait, so I had to fucking rename him. She was born and raised in Ohio, yeah. Why do you say she's in Ohio when she's not? She is. Because he's an asshole and he knows it bugs the fuck out of me. Where she, are you from? She's from I'm Ohio. Ohio. I'm from she's fucking from Pennsylvania. 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 Yeah. Dude, she's near the Pentagon. I am... Um... Canabanshee's 50% Ohio and 50% Kentuckian. Everybody knows that. Okay. It's in, it's in her blood. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and explain your logic behind that dipshit. Okay. Your mama, who was a Kentuckian, had sex with your father, who was an Ohioan, and then they made you. In Pennsylvania. Mom. You were born in Pennsylvania. In, in Pennsylvania. My, from, my mother's from Missouri. Let's try. But my dad is from Pennsylvania. You say that word weird. What? Misery. So this whole time, it's Missouri. I, I said Missouri. That it was, he was from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> no, he no makes fun of me because I used to live in Ohio, and that's where my kid is from. Sean's oh. takeaway from all this is that he was lied to you. About <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you don't say misery right. <laughs> I didn't say misery. I said Missouri. Yeah, you my don't. I don't think you say that right. 
Is she saying that right? Rojo, would you say that's right? Bitch, no. you're Canadian. You fucking put yous in words that don't belong there. Yeah, but Bong doesn't say it that way, and he lives there. Different accent. No, I don't know. I tend to believe Bong. If I'm going to say it in a sentence, hey, kids, y'all want to go to Missouri? That's how I would say it. <laughs> like, no, what do you mean? No, what, what, what fuck? Are you on heroin? <laughs> of course, we all are. <laughs> the fuck? He says it the same way you do. What? What, how, what does the little voice sound like in your head? What the hell? Like a Missourian accent? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know what Canavan she's on. Drugs. Oh my Maybe god. Maybe she's on light. Maybe. High on. She's still got that dopamine rush of Gwyn Wendy's. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it did felt good to leave. Yeah, it was a big rush, was it? You should have went in and like done a dirty protest or something. What's a dirty you know, protest? Had I known they were gonna make that my last day, I would have gone all out and fucking showed them my true colors. Like she I really wish I had. Even just a simple dirty protest, like she could have double deckered the staff bathroom. You know? What? An upper yeah. decker? Yeah, an up or sorry, an upper decker. Yeah, in the staff bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little dirty protest, you know. Okay. You know what? I don't care. I'm not even gonna ask. Just a like a little f you to leave them with. No, because the person that would have had to clean that up is currently pregnant. Yeah. Oh well. They're lost. Come on, get up here. Go on now. Let's see where Michael sleeps. Oh, you said where... get up here. What do you mean? Come on, girl. There you go. Oh, oh, she's a good girl. She has her own blanket. Look at so, she yo, gets right down. Fan. You remember me telling you I cleaned her fan and got a small mammal's uh, fluff off from it? Yeah. Oh, quantum, don't mention Wawa. I'm still angry that there's not one here. That was the fan that you accumulated at auto? Yeah, the small mammal. The small mammal. Oh, Sean, I want to show you my yeah. CPAP machine. That way we can see oh. for twinsies. If we can. Okay. Are you a large note? Did you say a CPAP machine? I'll show machine. you mine. Oh, no, I I got a new one. Yeah, that's the uh, the mask. Oh, you guys. Oh. Oh. It's not yeah. the full face mask. You'll see it's. I, I upgraded from the pillows, though. And then I got the little machine that's silent, and it's got the humidifier on the side. Yeah. We're twins on that. Twinsies. CPAP twinsies. Rojo. I'll Sir? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. I done oh. showed you mine. I've already done my part. Do yours. Oh, hold on. I wasn't looking. I was washing dishes. <laughs> Oh, you wash dishes too? Oh, true. Quantum. Oh, so happily together. I have to wash dishes before I start any type of cooking. Wait a minute, were there already dirty dishes in the sink left over? Yeah, that's why I had. Oh, to oh. Don't, you gotta work on question, that. Don't question me. Let me show that. you how Kelly lives. Let me show y'all how Kelly. Lives. Kelly's got fourteen drawers. Rojo, look. Oh, they all I can't drawers. see. I, it says you have low. Let me go out and. Go. Yeah, same oh, machine. He said, he said, let me just go. Oh, it is the same machine. Yeah. Oh, there's the face. And then I have a, a UV light sanitation device over here. Do you put oh, your pecker in there so it's in? <laughs> but look at this is what I just, they just upgraded me to this mask and I don't like it at all. Oh, I don't like it. It looks like a flashlight. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, that's what my ex used. That's what my ex used was that one. Yeah, I don't like this. And I so used anyway, to use the nasal pillow. This is how Kelly lives. This is her sink, right? Or just a spoon in there. But look at her dish drainer. All what? the utensils stay there. They stay there. They don't go into the utensil drawer. They stay there. <laughs> Is that... That's how 
Pyro mm. does it. I hate when he fucking does that. Like, he won't put dishes away, but he'll use the fucking dishes that are in the sink rather than what we have in the drawer. And then she takes a tea towel and covers her mess. Look, she right. covers her mess. Yeah. So. Play Jenga with the uh, dishes too. I like how how this just tilts Rojo so much. Well, it's, it's the little things, baby. It's the little things. <laughs> the big things, like the big things I can handle. Like they would duck, like water off a duck's back. It's just the little things that really, really get me going. Who, <laughs> who my ex, Quantum? Yeah, she used the CPAP. Yeah, like sleeping next to Darth fucking Vader. So we would have to get Aww, a king out of bed with the bed pillow too. Yeah. Cause you would roll over in the bed and touch me with your toe and I would just die. <laughs> just a toe, huh? Oh my god, you just don't know. Wow. Or if he has night terrors, I can't have him kicking me and shit. Shit. Barrier. What if Sean went on Amazon first and ordered like a blow up midget and then he just woke up and he had replaced himself with a blow up midget? Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'll blow up midget with a list. <laughs> <laughs> this is John funny. Let's go, Quantum. Let's go. Yeah, Shmoly wants me to get an air purifier. They are worth it. Well, I mean, I imagine living with a troll like Banshee, it's it's like extra worth it. Wait a minute, Holly wants you to get an air purifier? Yeah. I hate it. You have no animals in your house. No. You, you 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 take a shower just about every day, right? Yeah. So there's no human skin flying around, dead skin. Wait, what's what's yeah, there is. The Regardless, there is. Well, sometimes I let Doobie Granny come over. Damn. That's dead skin central right there. I was just wondering why you need an air pure. Like, what are you purifying the air from? Like, what's? I mean, he does smoke a lot. AIDS. Well, I don't know. Whatever's in it. <laughs> it's a HIPAA filter, not an AIDS filter. It's oh. oh, shit. It's for hep. I'm trying to strain out the hepatitis in case Banshee comes up and visits. Not on you your have to life. have a hepatitis test in order to work in fast food. Do you? Yes, and a TV yeah, test. Yeah, you're too. suspected of having it. Do you, did you do it? Don't have to. Well, they didn't meet you and immediately suspect you of having it. <sighs> I hate it here. Bro. Have you ever had a TB test? Where they stick you and you get a little bump and you gotta go back in two days? Oh, tuberculosis? Put it in your skin. Yeah. No. Fuck. What? Oh, we're, well, this isn't medieval times. But anybody can have TB and not know it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You, you literally, you can pick it up from a bathroom that uses a trash can where people wipe their butts and put their uh, paper inside the bucket and, and not, yeah, you can develop TV that way. Oh, uh, they do that at my work, bro. It's disgusting. And it's usually the Mexican cooks, bro, I swear. Because they don't have proper plumbing where they come from. Yes. Or you we, dude, them. that's what all the servers say. All the girl servers are like, <laughs> it's just the grossest thing. So, y'all want me to tell y'all something that's not racist, but it is, it's absolutely true. Oh, come people, on. People, it's not racist at all. It's a cultural thing. People from Somalia and Nigeria, they do not use toilet paper. They use bottled water and run it down the back of the crack of their butt. Then, actually, no. Okay. N now, I, I take that back. You are correct. And I can fucking confirm this because I used to work at a, uh, I used to work at Purdue. And they have them there. And, I don't. Um, I don't think you can call them them. Toilet paper. But okay. They say they think that wiping your butt with paper is the dirtiest thing on earth because you do everything with your hands. You yeah. eat, you handle people, and blah blah blah. But they'll walk around with squishy, shitty ass all day long, and that's healthy. <laughs> not wiping with people. And then smell like that all fucking day. Twenty four fucking seven. Along with their fucking exotic spices they use in their food. I, yes, and, oh, I could not stand going into the fucking break room when we used to go on break when I worked at Purdue because the fucking break room would smell like fish. 
And not oh, goat is either, like fish, beans, and rice. What is Purdue? Goat. Goat Purdue is, is university. university. Purdue no, chicken. Not, not university. It's the pr chicken Purdue. Uh, yeah. It's a university. No, I mean, Canavanchi would never be employed by a university, ever. There's nope. no universities that would do that or take a risk like that. My God. She was waking, she was working at Purdue University. Not even an intern. A teacher's assistant. Nope. No. I can barely stand people my own age, much less. College. Canavanchi dropped out in like grade seven, like grade six. Bitch, I have my fucking high school diploma. Yeah. She's got her GED. She had to go back and get extra credits. I'm sorry, did you finish high school? <laughs> no, God, no. I'm not government brainwashed. It's okay, then you can't fucking talk. Oh, sorry for me. You didn't finish high school? No. What grade, really? you, what grade did you drop out? 11. Okay, so you're on par with Pyro. Now, cool. did you reach a certain age and you were able to drop out? You knew at, a, at an age you were going to drop out? Or just one day say, nah, fuck it, I quit? I just said, nah, fuck it, I quit. I'm sick of this yeah, shit. It was just a waste of my time. So yours was voluntary. Yeah. I just stopped going. It was a waste of my time. You're in your 11th grade. You're like fucking 16. What else are you doing? I was already earning bank playing online poker. See, that's the thing, Quantum. I know that I can't give clients an attitude, but that's the thing. My job would be to calm them down, and I'm actually calm when I give massages. Do be shut the fuck up, because I know the ne next words out of your mouth is going to be something smart. When you... Oh, so you worked at the Rub and Tugs in Ohio? I hate you. Oh. <laughs> uh, what was that like? Is your middle name Randall? Canna Randall Banshee. Wow. Damn. What's up? The reincarnation of Randall. What? What? I think Randall actually died of carpal tunnel of the wrist. Too much of this motion. That's actually one of the reasons that I picked that profession, Quantum. Why? Well, carpal tunnel of the wrist? No. My oh. ass. Which is ironic, because I actually have that now. Not for that reason. Is it from working in L'Oreal? <laughs> It's okay. You so can anyway. say it. You can just say it. Oh, so anyway. I haven't even <laughs> smoked, man. Now I'm back from the grocery store and I got all my things. I should smoke. Probably, uh. Hey, Sean, here's a crazy <laughs> idea. Here's a crazy idea, Sean. Why don't you smoke? Yeah. <laughs> you smoke a little while, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? <laughs> I want some. I'm gonna make bacon in a little bit here. Just bacon? <laughs> well, I, I have a salad. He's going to eat up. Well, I'm gonna attempt my best. Sean's keto now, Banshee. Stop hating. <laughs> Stop <laughs> keto hate. <laughs> She's keto phobic. <laughs> yeah. Stop being a keto phobic. Okay, go grab a drink. Yeah, okay, make, sh make sure it's a keto drink. Oh. Oh. You're, <laughs> You're canceled. <laughs> Man, is she gone? What's up, Sean, brother? I still have my headset on, dumbass. Oh. Well, why'd you say be right back then? <laughs> Sean, brother, you want some bacon? You can have one strip. After 11 o'clock, you want to fry some bacon? <laughs> Let's live on the edge, bro. It's after 11. Put some bacon in that bacon. Put some bacon in! No, Sean will be good. It's not even. It's only 1021. He's good to go still. You got 39 minutes, sir. Yeah, you can be good before the timer goes off. 
Sean brother can't even be mad. Legally, he can't be mad. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me show you what I'm making. Oh, let me look. Oh, I gotta go out and come back Hold Well, I'm just gonna put post the link. Oh, it's still not working. Oh, no, he didn't start it. It's a link. He sent a link. Oh, yeah, just... oh I got it. I got it. Here, I'll share it. I'll share it. I got some cookies. There's what Sean's eating Watch right there. Shrimp. What is it called? Keto broccoli salad. Broccoli bacon salad with bursts of flavor and crunch. That What's the dressing? Uh, What's the dressing? Well, my first guess, Rojo, would be uh, broccoli. No, the dressing. No, the dressing. Wait, the dressing. dressing. Here we go. Creamy dressing. Mayonnaise, olive oil, white vinegar, and powdered monk fruit blend. I'm guessing you're not using that. I'm not. That's for the sugar, I guess, for the monk fruit. Yeah, but I'm not using that. Monk fruit's kind of fucking expensive, even in Kentucky. Yeah, I'm not using monk fruit. And then, that, and it says seasoning, black pepper, and garlic salt. And that's what I got, remember? You saw me, I just showed you guys the garlic salt. The $1.79 garlic salt. For three uh, ounces, you were all included. Oh yeah, it does say it's, it's a sugar substitute. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, but forget the sugar, man. Yeah, you don't need that for your salad. No. You could oh, use keto honey. But oh, what's the white vinegar? Is weird. Honey. I'm his honey. True. True. Okay, I got everything turned off. Mocha's everything. getting in bed. She's already there. She's already in bed. Growl at him, Mocha. Get that cat out of there. Get him. Bite his balls out. His little black balls. Bite his little black balls off. Oh. Well, all there's left to do is to blow my nose and pee. Everything's plugged in. Oh, shit, that's it. That's now it. Everything turned off. Got all the locks. Got the alarms on. Blow your nose, pee, and go to bed. Yeah, it's been a big day. Baby, drive around with my man. Uh -huh. So, what's everybody's plans for the weekend? Anything special? Nope. Oh, yes. No, just working. Same bat channel, same bat time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe do something with Schmally. Who knows? I finally get to go home Saturday, and I'm so excited. Yay. My mom's already wanting to get another cat. So Another cat, too? Cat. Oh, cat. Oh, boy. Did one pass away? That's right. You had one pass away, didn't you? Yeah, just like five to six days ago. Just the day before my birthday. Oh, no. It died? Yeah. Oh, was it one of the 16-year-old ones or 14-year-old ones? Yeah, the last last one. The one you were medicating, giving medicine to? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, she went on, yeah, the day before my birthday, she died, so. Damn. Uh, that sucked, but whatever. And she, yeah, but my mom's already like, man, the house is so quiet, I need to get another cat, so. Oh, no, not <laughs> whatever, dude. That sucks. Yeah. Last one. Last one of the five of them. So. Did I tell you the story of about half a year ago, six months ago? It was 1245 at night. I was about to go to bed. My phone was still on. I picked it up and I went to go turn it off. When I did, I had a message from, you know, who Junior is, my best gay friend. Yeah. Did I tell you what the message was? And I just busted out fucking laughing at 1245 in the, at night. Mom just ran over the cat. She's crying. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. That's all the message said. And I was like, well, bless his heart. I'm, I'm glad it's, you know, it was a quick death. No, no. It's crawled around the side of the street. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No. Put the bed on. That's what I went to bed on right there. Oh, God. That is terrible. Oh, did he go get the shotgun and put it down? Shit. Apparently so was the cat. Oh, that's sad.
I know, I'm always scared about that with all the stray cats we have around here. Are there a lot? Well, uh, there used to be more, but... Well, they're not strays, I don't know, the, the dumb woman that owns them just won't ever t let them go in. But yeah, Tom's out non-stop. And then Tom's brother, that fucking hissy cat, it's the weirdest, it's broken, it's so weird. If you just go near it, or you touch it, or talk to it, or whatever, it hisses at you. It's trying to go out and you too about the cat, so... Well... But not just me, everybody. Kelly's black you. cat hisses all the time. He's trying to... That's how he communicates, is through hissing. Yeah, that's how this one communicates, too. It's bizarre. But, like, it feels like it's be aggressively hissing at you, but it just does it all the fucking time, so... So she left on Saturday, cleaned all the cat litter boxes, right? Monday night, he was up on top of the cage, which is right beside the litter box. And as soon as we made eye, con eye contact, we, he hissed at me. And I was like, oh, I bet I got to change the litter box. And sure enough, I did. Wow. That's weird. That's an odd way for a cat to communicate that, hey, my shift box is full. He's always done that. He's always hissed to, to communicate. Always. Maybe that... A purr or a growl, it's always a hit. Maybe he's broken like this cat around this neighborhood is. Well, he did get his balls chopped off, so he had ketamine, so he sees the, world's dif the world differently. <laughs> since he had ketamine? Yeah, any any animal animal that goes under anesthesia is ketamine. Wait, are you for real? Yeah. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting that's my cat cats, neutered. That's why cats, their personality, they have a 50-50 chance of their personality flipping. If they were an outward, what's it called, extrovert, they'll become an in, yeah, in, extrovert, introvert. Outward. And then uh, and the, their personality, if there's a 50-50 chance on cats, they'll flip. Dogs is around 20%. So huh. that's why I paid extra for Maddie not to get ketamine. I paid extra for the other anesthesia. Because I didn't want to take a chance on her personality flipping. Her, I loved her. She was perfect the way she was. And then both that's... my cats are going to have their fucking personalities flipped. The mom's going to be an asshole, and the kid's going to be fucking calm as shit. I am so mad right now. I think about that too with my dog getting spayed. Is she? Uh, it paid the no. upgrade. It, I don't know how much more it is there. It was long, It was 50 bucks more for me. But apparently it's better if they've had a period too or whatever. Yes, and uh, yes, she had had her period. I let her have her first period also. Yeah, at nine months. Yeah, yeah mine, mine was at hers as well. Because I know they they waited with Holly's family, like the, her sister's dog, they waited for her to have her period before they fixed her. That way the hormone gets in their system and they're set for life. That one period sets them for life. They have that hormone in them. I usually wait until they have 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 had at least one litter. At least that, that. That's another one. Yeah, I've heard of that too. Well, I was never going to breed Maddie, no matter what. I didn't want her, per I didn't take a chance on her personality flipping from having a, a, a brood or whatever, a litter. Dude, that's the thing. My dog, I would love to breed him. Like, my husband actually was talking to the person that he got it from and was going to breed him with one of his neighbor's dogs. Thing is, dipshit got out and the fucking uh, Humane Society caught him. So the only way we can get him back is sniff him. Uh, I am so fucking mad. I could have made a really mean joke there, but I chose not to. I want that to be known. No, go ahead. You've been fucking talking shit all night. What you got to no, say? No, no, no. I was going to, but I didn't. I want it to be known. I'm nice. You want credit? You yeah. Want credit for being nice? Is that what you're saying? That's right, yeah. Taking the high ground? That's a fucking shot. That's right. I want credit for being nice to Banshee because everyone says I'm always mean. So You'll when, never get it. Whenever I'm nice, I need credit for it or else. Because usually your next sentence is a counteract. Yeah, but that's fine. But that time I didn't. Just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, it's nice of me, right? Quantum, quantum knows. Quantum's like, damn, do be so nice. It was like a gift. Quantum said, "I'm gonna, I owe you a sugar cube." <laughs> <laughs> Can you drip LSD on the sugar cube first? It's a PCP. Yeah. Can you find us some PCP quantum? <laughs> it's a myth. No, it's a myth. <laughs> Yeah, it's a myth. It doesn't actually exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. No. Ooh, Sean, I'm gonna show you my pretty new underwear. I got. Maybe he'll shut the fuck up. Whoa. You heard me. They are pretty as fuck. I don't normally wear underwear, but I stowed these. Me neither. Walmart. Wait, I can't. Hold on. Oh, whoa. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. There's, there's, there's no. What's that thing called? Hoe in the front. 
So I can wear them around like like a uh, biking shorts. There's oh no hole. No ho. Nice. No ho. No ho. And ro -ho. Look, it's ventilated for my. For your That's pleasure. Like Whoa. Is that nice. Jesus. And they're Christ. nice length. They're a nice length. Damn. It was three, nice length. Nice length. Length, yeah. Length. And they're they made that from that like uh, what's that poor people silk satin? There we go. <laughs> Does it have extra pouch in the front? He didn't. No, no, there's no pouchy. Damn. No pouch. Are you gonna show off your paintings too, Sean? I'm not wearing them. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! He went to the Vons with no underwear on. He's a free baller. Damn. Oh shit, there you go. Oh, camo. Whoa. Oh, you like them short shorts. Yeah, those are. But Sean has a hole in his. I got a hole in the back, too. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, wait, we're gonna see the whole. Oh, shit. Whoa, that's where. Let me get it. That's man. the hand job. What I never understood about the hole, though, is like, what guy actually gets their dick out of the hole? Like, do you not just pull them down? Yeah, Probably the same people who also don't pull their pants down, just <laughs> unzip the zipper. Who does that? Nobody does that. Degenerate. No one does that. I would never risk getting my dick out of a zipped up zipper with my belt done up. Then just pull the pants down. Like an inch. I don't get it. I don't I never knew what the hole was for. Just the weirdest thing. Job, buddy, when you're at the movie theater. Theater. <laughs> you take your dick out and put it to the pop bottom of the popcorn bucket. And say, would you like some popcorn? I've never done that. I'd have popcorn all over my dick then. And imagine if you had a popcorn kernels, like the little sharp kernels on your dick, and then she grabbed it and like started rubbing it, and it'd be cutting into your skin, and oh yeah, that'd be rough. You know, some people oh, pay their prostitutes picture for that, yeah, right? Yeah, they do the they do the sandpaper and lemon juice. <sighs> Team flop it over the top. Yeah, exactly. It's the same as people that wipe with a scrunched up wad, like Whiffy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who does that? What? Well, it was that time that everybody discussed wiping their ass and everyone was like, yeah. And Whiffy's like, yeah, you ball it up into a big wad and then wipe your ass with a wadded up ball. And everyone was Did like, not say that. literally, yes. And everyone was like, no, you wrap it around your hand. What are you talking about? And she's like, what? Yeah, and now she's a she's a hand wrapper, not a water upper. Yeah. Took she lived until the twenty four years old or something before she's before she started wiping the proper way. Yep. You said the proper way. Yeah. You, what do you mean you wad it up into the size of a baseball wad? Just a wad it up. What do you mean you can't wipe like that? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Imagine. Oh. Degenerate behavior. Yeah, I mean, Canavan, she probably wiped like that, but only until she was like 14 or something. Bitch, I fold. Fuck you. <laughs> but do you it's crouch? like I'm going to fold your ass if you don't talk, stop talking shit. Whoa. Yeah, Canavan, she uses a squatty potty. Or do you stand? I stand if I'm having to shit anywhere but my own toilet. <laughs> Do you hover? Because he was raised right? Yeah. That's right. There's the hover dump. That's right. I don't know what they do in New Zealand. I don't know how they wipe down there. There's probably some other... Uh, they don't. They're very classy with the boudet. Oh, shit. The days are big down there in, in New Zealand? Damn. That's where they were in Really? We should they have weren't. them in the U.S. Don't you remember it's being taught should. that Australia and New Zealand are the toilet bowl of the earth? It's so gross how we wipe. <laughs> Don't you start. You should just try pouring water down your ass crack instead. 
Mm. That's technically what a bidet is. Uh, yeah, but it squirts it in. Not. I, mm. I use thousand I thread count that, linen like, wipes. Whoa. Like, I guess you're if you're into that and your water pressure's higher. Yeah, what do you mean? Gross. Bidets shoot like a water fountain. Okay, but they're not fucking pressure washers. Yeah, they're pretty much pressure washing your ass. They had the same fucking pr uh, pressure that a dentist fucking cleaning thingy is. Like a pressure washer. Dental pit. Like a dental pit. Yeah, it's like, that's a pressure washer. No, it's not. A pressure washer is a fucking high pressure, you dumbass. Yeah, that's what a bidet does. It's like a, a bidet is a water fountain, a reverse water fountain. I'm not arguing with someone that didn't finish high school. Yeah, but have you ever have you ever seen or used a bidet before? No. That was funny. Oh well, I have. You fuck. Good for you. Well, then who would know more about it, you or me? You fucker! What a fucker! No, well, kid. It's kind of that time of the night. Rahul's going memes. <clears throat> it's one thirty-seven. It's so, Sean, that means I'll, I'll see you in about seven minutes, buddy. About seven minutes. <laughs> you know what, Graham? Kiss my fucking ass. I will fight you too, bitch. Bitch, you finished high school. Look where it got her. Yeah, quitting the same Wendy's three times in a year. <laughs> you know, I should I'm here. Love you. Bye, Rabu. Bye, Oh. Uh, yeah, it's true. One crown of broccoli is enough. Run crown? One crown. Banshee should apply at McDonald's or, or Burger King. Absolutely the fuck not. Our Burger King has tweakers and I've already worked at McDonald's. Of course you have. Have you worked at Burger King before? No, but my town, where our we only have one Burger King in my town and it's full of fucking tweakers. Absolutely the fuck not. I would rather work at Wendy's again with all the stone. You live in a town? Of how many people? I actually don't know. How do you not know? Because I'm not from here. Yeah, but how long have you lived there, though? Like four years. <laughs> oh, God. Ban Does Banshee bring anyone else as much pain or just me? What's up, Hoover? I wonder how many people live where I live now that I think of it. A lot. I know how many people live here between six and eight hundred thousand. It depends on what parts you include, I think. What's up, Hoover? How you been? Hello, everybody. Much love. Well, because of our fucking teacher. Rainbow oh Flag God! Don't belong in the classroom. Who doesn't belong in the classroom? Rainbow Six. Rainbow Flag. Oh God! We're not discussing this. Here we go. Politics. Hey, Hollow brought it up. Rojo left him. Boom. I know. I know. Right? She's from. A, she was born in Ohio. Like they're just Fuck un. Off. They're uncivilized there. You know, being it, Whiffy was born there too. It's whatever. It's whatever. Imagine being born in Ohio. No much, no much, no much love, Hoover. I'm sorry to hear that. Rainbow Six. <laughs> uh, maybe a remote job, Kenna? Yeah, she, like, maybe on an oil rig or something. Out in the Pacific. That's a little concerning, Hollow. Um, that's not something that should be talked about in, high, in schools. My next door neighbor slept with her math teacher in high school. Nice. Score. Nice. <laughs> Sometimes people score like that. Being from Ohio, you could probably get a job in the circus. That's true. That's an option for you. You could travel that way, see, see some of the country. What do you think? You could just stop shaving, be the... Be the Bearded woman? What do you think, Can Banshee? Too far. Too far, she says. Too far. Too far. 
I'm being serious, Doobie. Too far. Too far. Don't talk about my beard. Sorry. So sorry. Grim, too far. You have to say it to Grim, not me. It was his joke. I wish my math teacher would have taught me anything. I had good math teachers through school. I did uh, too. I just I didn't intake any of it very well. High school we had I had a really good female math teacher for like three months and then she left for maternity leave, so and then we kind of just got shafted with yeah. with useless fucking substitutes substitutes all year, yo. I had that a couple times. I had that in in uh, history too. The history teacher was like one of the best, and then his son unalived himself, and. Uh, that was it. He taught like three days, I think, and that was it. He took the like two years off. <laughs> yeah, that would do some damage. Yep. Supposedly, I know physics. I loved math other than, uh, or psychics, other than trig. I hated trigonometry. Hated it. Stupidest math stuff. If you could go to school for anything right now, what would it be? And I know you're not a school guy, but to learn. Probably go back to finish his fucking diploma. No. No. I mean, I mean that in a sense. Like, if you could go to college right now. And I no, I don't know. Learning. But if you could really, really do something, would it be anything in, like, video, tech, or would you? Yeah, I'd probably just be math. Something boring. I'd probably be an actuary. They make bank. You know what an actuary is? No, I don't. Actually. They just do math all day. Actuaries are the people that derive the risk percents for ridiculous things. So, like, what the chance or the risk of, of minute things happening and the outcome of that would be and stuff like that. So, like... The chance of someone dying in a car because this thing happens and them getting sued over it and if that's worth the risk and like stuff like that or the chance people will get cancer <laughs> the chance people will get cancer from eating something ketogenic diet yeah and then if that's worth it and if it's okay to promote that and all that kind of stuff it's just literally math question math problems so like almost analytics yeah, that'll do it to you. Yeah, they make they have the highest um, unaliving rate of any job, any math job, because it's so boring. And then apparently, when you find out what you do, what the numbers are related to, it, you have a hard time dealing with it because all almost all the numbers are related to very bleak, like horrible things in the world. Honestly, but they don't know that usually. You as the actuary, you just do the numbers. You're not you don't really aren't related to what the numbers are based on. You just are doing the math. You're just crunching the numbers. Yeah, but then when they find out it's not, it's usually for bad stuff. Like like I said, like how it, it's acceptable to give this many people cancer, you know? <laughs> like, no, oh, this is the acceptable limit for a company to pollute the world and like a pharmaceutical yeah, like you're working out, yeah, the the acceptable amounts of, of loss and life loss due to, you know, very external weird outcomes or whatever. And then if the risk reward is okay for companies to take and like all that kind of shit. Huh. It's an interesting field to get attracted to. But they make a lot, like 120000 a year. Like they make a lot, a lot of money for like such a such a weird job you wouldn't think they'd make like such good money where'd you first hear, uh, come across that or hear something like that there are, a lot of them became poker players oh really yeah because it's a statistically based job so like they're they're all very and very very good at at essentially at poker and game theory and statistics and stuff let's see much love, Hoover. Shout 
Sean's in school to be a lawyer. He's going to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could get through this administration justice class, apparently. It would be a good start. <laughs> I think Blue Monkey's in school to be a lawyer. He's trying to school out. It's hard, man. Yeah, shit is whack. Well, it's not good. OJ died. Yeah. Yeah, that's over. The juice. No more. <laughs> There'll be no more juice. You know the only thing served at his funeral, too? Okay. Orange juice screwdrivers. That's it. <coughs> You're a fucking animal. That's it. Yep. And well, also grape drink, but mostly orange juice screwdrivers. Oh shit! Boom! Got him! Got him! Damn! Shit! Fucking Doobie will say anything. <laughs> Come on, that was funny though. No. The bacon that I'm making smells really good right now. Is it too soon to make jokes like that? He died like hours ago or like days ago or some Dude, shit. Is it too Two soon? days the ago. Guy, the guy murdered. Oh, yeah. So I can make it. Yeah, see? See, Banshee? He's a murderer. Aware of that. He's a murderer. I'm allowed to make jokes about him. Was it actually today he died? No, it was the 10th. It was the 10th. That's today. Well, that was literally... I mean, look at Banshee being all... In Sean's world, that's literally today. So fuck you, Banshee. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? You can be a lawyer as long as you can pass the bar. Woo! Oh my good lord, that was loud. On Hoover and on um. Jeez, that was... I need the link of my Sluts channel. Has Canavan she even subscribed to my Slut channel? She hasn't. She's a fucking... I have. She's a hater. She's a... I've never seen you in the chat over there. Yeah, because I don't care for it. Wow. If I wanted to watch Slots, I'd fucking play it on my tablet. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but you're not playing for real money. So. What? What's the point then? Don't have to. I play it for my entertainment, not money. But yeah, money, like you. money and entertainment is taught. But you gotta still play for money. Just like you do, but you play this for entertainment. Ugh. I mean, I do have an app on my phone that I play for money for, but it's not a slot game. There's my like button on Hoover and on oh, much love Hoover. Cheers, house. Cheers! No, I couldn't be a lawyer. But lawyers are allowed to carry concealed weapons in Canada, so... Are they? Are they really? Yep. I didn't know that. No. Some of them, and judges, too. Canada and I... Are they? It's all, there is only... There's only there. three high... High... High-level lawyers, judges, and police. Because they get getting assassinated or something, I think. Or whatever. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. The weirdest thing is, I want to be a cop, and here I am associating with you. With me, I know. I'm a criminal. No, you just don't like the cops. I don't really like them, no. But I haven't had very good... I haven't had good interactions, so, you know. Oh, I'm going to check that bacon. It's starting to smell. Well, that time the SWAT team or whatever showed up at my mom's house and completely ignored the three marijuana plants in the backyard as they stared at them. It was pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was legal up there, isn't it? No, it wasn't then. Oh, okay, back then. Yeah. They showed up for some kid that was at my house that was, like, on the run. And they literally, boom, knock on the door. They had fucking, like the rifles and bulletproof vests on and everything and he's like doing the finger movements sending guys around back i'm like fuck oh god i got plants growing in the backyard he came right up on the back deck like made eye contact with the plants and then was like where is he 
He hasn't run yet. I was <laughs> like, okay. No, he's right here. Take him. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking get I out of here. Huh? Slightly disturbing. Is fucking Canada seriously <laughs> trying to up their defense spending? For my salad, look at. I don't know. Probably. We're next to America. Fair enough. Fair enough. Cheers! Johnny Cash and Oliver Hoover. True, Doobie, but you were dealing with other shit, weren't you? Then you are not enslaved than us. Right. Let's see, I gotta know the... The madness of that shit. Three plants. I know, three plants. I was shitting myself, though. I mean, back then, yeah, that would have been, like... I don't even know. I would have been... I was, like, 17. I would have been probably tried as an adult. It would have been bad. And they were stolen plants, too. Not that they could be claimed as such, <laughs> but... I was gonna ask, does that really matter, though? No, I mean, you can't really make claims on stealing illegal things, I guess, but... It probably wouldn't be the best, because the drug... The bus would have been made public, and the guy lived only a few blocks away, and then he would have been well aware of who probably stole his plants, too. So, you know, kind of a double negative <laughs> when you're in trouble with the law and then you get out of trouble with the law and then the guy that you robbed is livid. Damn. Yeah. I got the plants a little bit too early. I was scared he was going to harvest them. And I knew they were there, so it was like, well, fuck it. Clones are seed. They were seed. They were from seed back then. I knew the guy, and I knew where they were. And I knew he was growing them because he had bragged about it. So, I was just like, well. What about auto flowers? Yeah, auto flowers. Yeah, they're common. That's what my buddy, the medical dude, grew all autos. I was thinking about doing that a long time ago, back in like 2012. But we chopped them right as soon as the SWAT team left, so they were chopped way preemie. I think we only got like between half an ounce and an ounce each plant, which is like nothing. Because I was oh, wow. sweating bullets. That SWAT team left with the kid and I was like, fucking rip them out. <laughs> like, fuck, I took them to this house. Immediately ripped them out and took them here. Oh my god, Quantum. Hi, hi, Frank. Immediately. I was like, fuck that. I ain't, they're going to come back. Yeah, forget it. I ain't getting caught with that shit. <laughs> yeah it was crazy for a kid that was like and he was like a year year and a half younger than me i think he was like 15 or 16 at the time and they literally showed up with four fully armed bulletproof rifle wielding swat team like for a fucking 15 year old like it was a little bit ridiculous, yeah. Like, he's not coming out guns blazing. Like, we're in Canada, Did and he's... just a runaway? He's 15. Yeah, but his mother had called in, and apparently he hit her or something, and she called in and stated that he might have this and that, and he's dangerous, and blah, 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 blah. He was just a 15-year-old kid, and she was a cunt. <laughs> like... How the fuck are you gonna sell your kid down the fucking river like that? Yeah, and then they, oh, I, I they came never. showing up. Because they knew that he would be at my house pretty much because he was good friends with us, so. They came showing up. She probably said he's at this address. But there was a whole bunch of us. There was like 10 of them at, 10 of us at my house and him. And then I was like, right away, I was like, no, no, he's right here. Like, because I was so fucking worried. We had so much shit in the house and then the plants out back. It's like, kid, get the fuck out of my house. He's right here. Take him, take him. Take him. 
Don't fucking come in. Don't step foot across that threshold. Take this fucking kid and get him out of here. <laughs> Why would you take them down early, though, if they didn't bother or even notice the plants in the back? Well, there's no way they didn't notice them. I, I was worried that they were just, they had to come for him, and that was their job, was to get him. And then they were going to, like, come back and, or send, like, patrol units back and be like, oh, also, you think we didn't see those? Like, now you're in yeah. shit, too, or whatever. I don't know. I was shitting, though. But, like, he was standing on my back deck, and they were planted along the fence line, and he was literally... I was standing in front of them while he was talking to me. Like, there is no way on earth he could not have seen them. Like, he, there's just 0% chance. Like, uh, there's no fucking way. But they didn't turn up. They never came back. They never said anything. Like, if the cops didn't know what they were, they're literally so bad at their job. I mean, they... Go to the store and buy a couple of, um, hedges. Like, the potted hedges. I mean, I could have. Like, they were just, they weren't meant to be in the ground. Like, so, because they, I tried to steal them at the right time that I could just harvest them. But we ended up having to plant them, and then it turned into a whole thing. And, yeah, then I cut them way early anyways. Whatever. Lessons learned. Yeah, but now you can fucking grow them. And not only that, if the cop fucking came to your house, they'd be like, hey... What you're growing. Yeah, now, yeah. Not say shit. In Germany, they can grow now, too. It's legal there as well. Oh, really? Yep. What up, 913Z? The yeah, they just legalized. April 1st. Oh, that's funny. Yep. Yep, Rimmers can grow and smoke weed legally now. How you be 913Z, which is crazy that Germany is now legal and there's still parts of the U.S. that aren't. Right. Which is, yeah. I was looking at that. Is Pennsylvania one of those? No. Jersey it, is, though. Yeah, it's illegal there. That's where Lily's is. Fucking bricks. It's like South Carolina's in there, isn't it? Watch your plans around, Doobie. That's right. Yeah, there's a... I mean, it's. I think it's about 50-50 right now still for the states like it's a, or a little bit worse maybe i think we i think there's less legal than there is not because like most of the south is illegal still pretty much all of it it's weird that cali's not counted as the south but like you guys are pretty southern still yeah part, part of it is in the south but I guess it. But think about how big California is. Yeah, it's really long. I mean, with that being said. What's up, Gavin? It goes halfway up the country, maybe. True. How you be, Gavin? What's good, bro? I've been good, 913. I got a new slots channel, so I've been gambling it up like crazy. South. <laughs> Glad to hear all's good. But L.A. is, like, at the bottom, right? Yeah, and that's why they considered that, you know, like, Southern California. Right. But then is, but Nevada's not a Southern state. Like, people yeah. don't look at, but they don't, they don't say it when they, when you say, like, oh, a Southern state. It's, like, oh, no. Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, like, it's not Nevada, though, but Nevada's really Southern. Just never understood how that works. Texas is a big... Like, Texas will probably never legalize. Same as, like, Alabama. Like, that's going to be... It'll have to be federally legalized for those states to legalize, probably. What's up, Gavin? Tipia? Tapia? Yeah, they've literally, fuck, places that have made alcohol illegal in the last 50 years are not going to legalize weed. This is the most strained salad I've ever made. The most strained? Strange. 
Oh. It looks really good. It does sound a little bit unique, though. It's raw broccoli, um, uh, avocado, cheddar cheese, mayonnaise is the dressing, olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, bacon, red onion. Yeah, that's hardcore. I'm sorry, did you just say you put fucking mayonnaise in a salad? Yeah, it's a salad dressing. Yeah. Alcohol is worse. What? What? You can't put that in a salad? I've never known anybody to put mayo in a salad unless it is ranch. You literally, <laughs> you live in America. Well, this is why I'm it's aware. hard. You know that nobody in the world makes like casseroles and weird sal cold salads like America does, right? I'm aware. Oh, okay. But you yes, say... I know that our country is known for doing fat shit. But you say that you've never heard of mayonnaise in a salad, but what is pasta salad? First of all, I personally, at least, and no one I've ever known, has put in mayonnaise in a pasta salad. That's what do you mean? Like... What about a bologna salad? What about a potato salad? What about a bologna yeah, salad? Like, yeah. Fuck is a bologna salad? How have you never seen the bologna salad video? Okay, that sounds disgusting. Well, it's an American thing. Well, this was suggested by my... my oh my god, why was that the first thing when I fucking put it in BOL? <laughs> Did you find it? Yes! The cooking channel, girl? Disgusting. Yeah, well, what? It's invented in your... Probably invented in Ohio, your hometown. Mayo in that pasta like is weird. Tuna salad. That is oh. disgusting. Tuna salad. There's another example of mayo in salad. Egg salad. There's another mayo in salad. Look at this. I'm dropping bombs on Banshee right now. Ba boom, ba boom. Bombs are just going off. She's trying to run through the non mayo salad streets, and I'm just hitting her with facts. Kadoosh, kadoosh, kadoosh. Damn. And I know you like egg salad because you're southern like that. Uh, no, I actually fucking like egg salad. Yeah, I know. I make the best fucking egg salad. I know you like it. That's what I said. Banshee, it's supposed to be good for this when the keto diet. It's supposed to be helpful for my epilepsy. Yeah, I know. And I'm trying it out. I'm gonna do my best to follow as much as. Yeah, you should try it too, Ganon Banshee. Maybe it'd be good for your mood swings. I'm going to hurt you one of these days. And it's probably going to be with a cemented wet noodle. Oh. <laughs> so, see, see, that probably wouldn't happen if you're on keto. I am never <laughs> you aren't. They don't let people like you in. <laughs> and I'm not a sex offender. <laughs> Cross that border, but you better hope I never do. No, well, you got to afford a passport as well. Someday you got I got me there. <laughs> yeah, this summer, I'm. I am. I may be able to go. You are with Rojo. <coughs> Did you just call Rojo broke? No, I Sean's coming up with Rojo just to oh. Canada. Yep. Oh yeah. Sean needs to just do it. Just book it. Just book it, bro. Just book it. Don't even think about it. Just book it. No. <laughs> Little bro, you gotta pay the rent for the month. I'm leaving. And then you call him up like a week later and you're like, Bro, I just married Doobie Granny in Niagara Falls. I'm not coming home. I'm Canadian now. In reality, if I were to do it, it'd probably be like sometime in August. That's Schmolly's birthday month. See? Then we all could go out. Do it. And we could smoke a big blunt. What would you want to do? Would you be like Sean? Would you be like Thumbsy or, or 
Thumbsy's mom. Like, are you like, I just want to chill, smoke weed, hang out, go to local places, cheap, easy, or like, oh, well, you got to see Niagara Falls. I want to go to Toronto. I want to do this. want to do that, you know. I or like a festival or... Because I'd have intentions on coming back. So I'd want to hang out for a bit. Yeah, it's, easy, it's cheaper too and nicer to just kind of chill. Yeah. The summer's nice here just because we got a lot right around here. Lots of breweries, the pool, the hot tub. Yeah, I think I'm going to eat. You're done with the bacon, yeah? Is he eating the salad too? No, he wanted bacon. He's not Canadian, bro. He doesn't use maple syrup and bacon, bro. Wow. Oh, that's a crime. Yeah. yeah. Fucking bacon and maple. He doesn't do that sure. Looney Tunes shit. That you that's good, though. That is good, though. Yeah. You know what else is good? It's just putting bacon right in a pancake. That's good. I was Brothers, just thinking that, Sean too. Sean Brothers says you're like Woody the Woodpecker. You know, I... Literally, the other day I went for a walk and there was a woodpecker in the tree right beside me. I spent like 10 minutes trying to see it, but I couldn't find it. But it was so fucking loud. The, the woodpecker in the tree was really loud? Yeah, do you ever have that? Where you just hear the... Sean Brother says you're like a woodpecker. I pretty much am. I pretty much am. I'm like 60% pecker, 40% man, so he's dead on. And he's not even listening to you. I'm like man, I'm more like a man pecker. I mean, I can definitely see that correlation considering he makes a lot of damn noise. I do that too. And I have a red face and a blue head. Oh no, not so much, but. Oh, Thumbsy's online playing Rainbow Six Siege like a fucking degenerate. I see you! Imagine playing Rainbow Six Siege. So I'm gonna go summon the boy. And he's playing Rainbow Six Siege. Fuck that game. Alright. My salad has been prepared, everybody. His salad is ready. Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we see it? Yeah, you know what? I'll take a photo of it. It's like Actually, that little thumbs. He's proud. He's a proud boy. I don't cook. That was, <laughs> so that was like okay. Uh, go hard's burger fucking goes hard. No. Wait, Sean's posting it. Get ready. Get ready. It's coming. I have to clean my hands, bro. Golden, golden. Uh, uh. What did you? What did you cook? Uh, Doobie. What was your dinner? What did I cook today? Yeah. Nothing. I had pizza. What was the last thing you cooked then? Uh, meal for Shmali. Oh. Fancy and I think that's nice. I know. I'm so nice. Who does? Yeah, we, we think that's nice, don't we? Who does? You and he you said, and yeah. You and it's I. Canna. That's what he said. Yeah. You said Banshee. He said Canna Banshee. I don't banshee. go by Banshee She's anymore. Right. I mean, yeah. it's like it's like when somebody calls me a Zordian. She's got like ninety-four names. Well, if you stop calling me the wrong fucking thing. Okay, whatever you say, Banshee. I hate you. What did you say, Banshee from Ohio? Just wait. He's not done. He's prepping it still. Everybody's being impatient. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Thomas, he's literally playing Rainbow Six Siege. What a guy. Just wait. Here we go. Here's the picture. It's coming. Oh, oh. Oh, just the right angle, right lighting. Oh, shit. Are you trying to get those uh, Instagram angles? Oh, well, yeah. He's it's posting it in it. in the Discord. The real good, real people are going to see it. 
human beings. Real human beings. I ate every single one of those Cinnabons except for one. I'm so fat. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. What are we looking- Oh shit. We're looking at Sean's salad right here. Boom. We've got bacon, broccoli, a lot of bacon. Holy, I like that. Cheese. Better than anything cannabis and cheese made. It's so weird seeing this right now and then seeing your head also there because like it I can see the same color shirt and like a different angle. It feels weird. Mm. Challenge to eating healthy. He's healthing and up. It's a true story. It's a true story. Happened to a Sean of a Sean of mine. We'll have your wicked ways. Imagine. Yeah, but I'm not going to eat that whole thing. I'm just going to mix it all up and then save some of the salad. No, fucking whole thing gone. He's going in. Sean's going in hard. Whole thing gone -er. It's no forgiven. That's why I put all the bacon in there. I was like, there's no way that I'm gonna. Oh, I could go for some bacon right now. Look at all that. What we do is that we mix it all up. Oh shit! Look at this. That's a big bowl, actually. That's what I mean. There's no way that I'm tonight, dude. Come on. Come on, no. Come on, man. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Take them to work tomorrow. Let's be fucking serious right now. Come on. There's no fucking way I'm eating all that. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Gains, though. You know what I'm saying? Gains. Full gains, bro. So I was thinking about making a comedy short because we have a bridge here named Gainsborough Bridge. And I was thinking about going there and like chugging protein powder and doing push-ups and then zooming in on the Gainsboro sign. Are you going to? I don't know, maybe. Don't, don't just talk about it. Be about it, dude. Oh, I'm already about everything. Like nobody else Ouija boarding in the graveyard. I don't... I. Has there ever, has anyone else ever streamed that? No. Look at, I have to give Remy a bacon, uh, a bacon treat. No. Oh. <laughs> she wants her bacon. She's smelling bacon. In here. She She's needs, like, she gets no. her bacon too. You know, the bacon, 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 bacon. Yeah, don't leave sweet Reminal out. She's such a sweet girl. Yeah. That's baby Remy. Little baby Reminald. Oh, no, yeah. Remy. Oh, little Reminald. Ah! Oh, I'm an old man. <sighs> yeah. I wish Doobie would have a kid again. Again? I already have one. Yeah, thumbs. Well, that's true, but... He's a bastard child adopted. Damn. <laughs> I mean, worth a lot. I'm gonna go to work tomorrow, guys. You should, and you should just fly to Canada instead. I want to be a millionaire. Oh shit, he's got his LA hoodie on. He's ready to eat now. <laughs> he's got his LA hoodie on. He's locked. He's locked, baby. Si no kale la kela.
Ay, 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 ay. Sila la kala wakala. I'm singing. Let's go to Hawaii, man. Let's go. <laughs> I don't like planes. Oh, you have a horrible time then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, bro. Over the ocean. Thanks, bro. You'd be like, this is not for me. Is that how I'd be? Probably, uh. Over the water? You? Me? Water? Over? Yeah, no. I mean, other than crashing and dealing with, uh, airport security, there's nothing really that bad about flying. Well, death. Oh. That's what I said. Yeah. Crashing yeah. and dealing with airport security. You're not gonna die. Oh. Probably not, or guaranteed not. There's how, many a nine... flights to... how many flights were there today that went to Hawaii? There's Three a 9 and 11 chance that you'll fucking crash. A 9 and 11? Oh, I get it. She doesn't, she doesn't even know that we, we went to the memorial site earlier, dude. We did, yeah. Oh, did you? We went and touched a piece of it today on stream. <laughs> I've been wanting to go. Like, I should have when I was uh, living up north. What? Is there a piece there? I was literally there, there just today. I touched the part of the... They have a chunk there. A chunk of the building. Do you have that in Kentucky? No, we have a bunch of crackheads. Oh, that sounds just about as nice, I guess. Over the water? What well, is? The piece of building? No, it was just like suspended in a concrete oh, in housing. Yeah, no, we didn't go to the New York Memorial. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I've been wanting to go to. Why? Like what? Because oh, I've always sure. wanted to go to New York, and that's one of the main stops for a tourist. Yeah, it's just a hole, folks. Go to fucking Liberty Bell. How how offended do you think Americans would be if I peed on it, though? People would have been offended that you said it's just a hole. It is, <laughs> it is just a hole. Damn. It is literally just a hole. There's nothing to see there. It's not like you're seeing Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon. It's just a fucking Basically, hole. Basically, it's not just a hole. It's a water fountain. It, it's kind of boof. Also, they were not very... We were talking about this the other day. They're not very attractive buildings. They weren't very attractive buildings. Like for hundred story buildings, there are some there you know there's only like twelve or ten or something hundred story buildings in the world? They were the ugliest. Mm -hmm. So Architecture. Tell the architecture that. Yeah, they were. They are ugly. Yeah, the CN Tower's over a hundred stories tall. Why does hollow sound so much like high res? Yeah. Hollow, do you like, sound like high res? I would not take that hollow. Oh. That was rough. That was kind of rough, though. I have to get a drink. Kind of I have to get a drink. Yeah, you do sound a little distant. Are you on your phone? There you go. Lodge attack. Yep. Yep. Lodge attack, <laughs> gang. That's funny. So this is, this salad is Love really it, yeah. good.
Um, did Doobie's camera just move? No, he just left. Weird. I might be too high to be in this call. No. How old is your dog? I want a dog. No, I don't want a dog. That's a lie. It's only two. You already had a dog. Two and three quarters. So you'll be three years in a couple months. April, May, June. Awesome. So, uh, you can see him smiling. I know. I, I was just going to say, smile. He <laughs> really smiles. You can tell his expressions. He Golden Retrievers will reflect the expressions of your face based on your mood. So when he's happy, he will show it in, in his smile. So when he gets what he wants, you know, he'll smile. So he, he knows how to get what he wants. He's they bigger than Remy. They strategize. They know exact times of the day. They know exactly the time when you're supposed to walk them. High energy dogs. We got a lot of ponds and streams where I live. So like every day when I walk him, he can go in the river. He can go in the stream. He loves ponds. Like he just, he's like the jump Olympic dogs, I guess. The ones that like jump out, try to get the balls. Canabanshee. Canabanshee does, here. she does all that when she gets walked too. She's always in the streams and ponds and. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she can't resist the balls hanging out there in the middle of the street, can she? Ha 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 ha! Fuck yourself. Poor Candabanchi. <clears throat> Such an easy oh. target. But you bro. keep saying that, and you're still giving me shit. Why? What? Well, I feel like I. But yet, you keep giving me shit. I'm talking shit. Why? Well, I have to. I mean, you don't have to be an asshole to me. No, I do. I'm paid. In what, 13 views? Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah, so much more. It's so ridiculous. It's like his tail could be a mop. Look at that. No, doggo. He loves it. Sean needs to cuddle yeah, Remy right like that. Uh... The tail wag. God. It's, it's like picking up a, like a small dog in hair every single day. It's like a yeah. like ball of hair. So, I know exactly what you mean. I own a husky. Oh, yeah. That's about a thousand times. The worst. This dog. Yeah, huskies are no joke. They shed so much. I'm just glad I got the broken one because this one doesn't bark or scream. Well, I mean, no, it's no, probably no. in fear of its life being around yeah. you. One man, three. He was just trained not to bark. With a golden retriever, the only thing you have to worry about is jealousy, hairballs, and intermittent shitting all over the place. Yeah. Like the weirdest dietary restrictions. So once you find their food, you're great. But until then... Yeah. It's a sensitive stomach. Very yeah, very sensitive. So it's expensive too. Like once you find out their budget is, you know, fifteen bucks a week. Ugh. It's a it's a little ridiculous. My best friend when I lived in Mississippi, my best friend actually got one uh, from her mom. Her mom had just passed away, and the dog didn't have a home, so 
so she brought it home to Mississippi, and that dog was a pain in the ass. She's like an older dog. Oh, yeah. They are so fucking heavy to pick up when they're older. You gotta pick them up because they can't get up steps. Yep. It's the worst. Well, I, I'm preparing. I, I, felt, I felt so bad for that poor thing. I'm preparing for it, so. Yeah. Enjoy the good days while I got it. You know, people love golden retrievers and all that, but... Yeah. yeah. They are yeah. really good dogs. They're really good companions. They're great. Oh, yeah, baby. They're great. Very protective. Do you know, honey? But I, would take, I would take a thousand... Oh, he's getting pissed because I'm saying I would take another dog. Uh-oh. I would take There's another... Jealousy. I would take a million dukes over another bow. Sorry, bow. Hmm. Aww. I'm sorry. You're you're my love of my life, but I will never own another golden retriever. You're great boys, but you're the only one. Mm. Sean, what's your Aww. rating? But it's too much. <laughs> he's gonna be shaved in the next two weeks. Ten out of ten? Whoa. Yeah, he's gonna be buzzed completely raw. So he's oh, gonna look God. like he'll look like a black. Uh, a golden lab here real soon. Alright, get down. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing that to uh, my husband's dog because he's like real. He's kind of mad on his head, but he hates the fucking um, clipper. Like, he cannot stand the sound of it. He's such a pussy. Um, yeah, I've kind of trained these guys on them since they were puppies. So they've always had like their, their paws trimmed wherever the hair came out so they can, you know, have a little bit better grip. Uh, but Bo is the one that was like, it was kind of an emergency need. Like I needed to get rid of his hair because his hair gets so long, it literally will like st statically attract ticks onto his body. Yeah. And so um, I tried everything, you know, I think like he wants to play. That's like the yeah, fifth time he's brought that toy to you. Yeah. I know, he always wants to play. <laughs> we don't stop, and it's 24 hours a day. So you have I, to... I, I watched him walk back in and out of frame like five fucking times while you are talking. That was adorable. So the trick is, so the bathroom is in the next room. If I can throw the toy and get it into the bathtub and say, okay, I will, I will throw it for you next time, but you have to have a bath. And he won't touch the toy. Oh damn. Yeah. Damn shake. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no bad. No bad? No? You want to bat? No? You want to play? That's a concern. Sorry, just him. Is that one of those, uh, big, uh, big dog toys? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I want to get one of those for my dog, but he fucking tears it right. like a part. It's well, we can't chew apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they don't break anything when you throw them, so no big deal. Mm. I need to get my dog one of those. He's been trying to chew on the cat instead of a toy. Yeah, just get a Kong. Get a Kongs are great. Anything that has <laughs> like thick rubber to it is good. No squeak toys. Fuck that. I hate squeak toys. I hate anything that has like polyethylene. Like anything that has artificial stuff that isn't like one whole piece. Like you could do this out of one whole piece and a dog can like chew it apart for years, right? Yeah. But now you get like polyester, cotton, and a squeak toy together. Like it just gets shredded. Fucking rip it up. Well, it's threaded. We learned real quick that uh, small, terrible squeak toys were not the thing for a husky who has the jaw strength of a fucking shark. Yeah, now they're used to you know, like hauling fucking sleds in the middle of winter in the snow. Like they have so much energy, they don't know what to do with it. Like I walk these guys twice a day, it's four miles a day, and I oh, off. Oh, no leash, no leash. So they chase squirrels, they chase deer, they chase anything that is out there in a two and a half mile stretch that has nobody out there. Like, if there's people there, I always kind of withdraw and go back to like a side trail or whatever yeah. to go out of the way. Because I like my dogs having their natural pack. 
Yeah. They don't, they don't go out more than 100 yards in front of me. If they do, I have, uh, I have the Garmin shock collars, so I call them back mm. with a beeper or a vibrator, but I've trained them since they were, as soon as I put them on their neck, on what the shock needs, like what the beep needs. They get, if they get two beeps, that means, you know, they need to come back to me. If they get three beeps, they need to come back instantly, like all the way back to me. One beep just means they just need to check in visually. Otherwise, yeah. they're, they're going to get zapped. Or I by, like, you know, taught my dog that. Well, it's, it's really good for them because they get their freedom. You know, they get to go chase animals as far as they want to go. You know, I can recall them up to like 1,200 yards, so I don't really worry too much. Out of visual range, when there's cars coming and going, I usually call them back like immediately. And, you know, I have treats waiting for them so I can reward them for coming back in time. That that's what it is. Well, I mean, yeah, well, shock collars are, in my opinion, a salvation for when the dogs meet someone on a trail that I popularized by walking on it, you know, because mm -hmm. we have a small community with thousands of people driving around looking for places to walk their dogs. And they're like, oh, dude, this guy's been walking it every day for like three years. I'm like, yeah, let's go down here and park our car here on a side road and walk our dogs. And like, my dogs are used to a routine and a schedule and attacking animals. And so when other animals appear, they're defensive to me. And and Literally. he is the most defensive. And he will usually stop and alert with his tail straight up. He has a big fluffy tail and his whole back will, will fluff up. Yeah. And yeah. Duke will come directly back to me first. Like, he kind of comes back to me for, like, what's the command? What am I supposed to do? Am I going to attack? Am I going to am I I'm gonna here? Can we go? And if I'm not there, he will bark. And he is a very, very loud barker. Like, he, yeah, he sends an echo. And usually it's families that are local, you know, people that live in the, in the area of that property. And they have kids and they just got out of school. There's no coordination, so it's kind of like, all I do is call my dogs back to me, put them on leash, walk 50 feet, and go an alternate route, and then it's resolved. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, sure. it's a normal routine, but as people have started coming into the area, I mean, it's, you can tell our small community is becoming a large community very quickly, and they bring dogs that have no habits whatsoever. Well, when you were born in Ohio, it was just small out there, wasn't I'm it, Banshee? I'm fucking hit you, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, side note. Can we just take a second? It was. Oh, someone's been sitting here this entire time, fucking sitting here, just fucking chowing down. But he's eating cereal. So what? No, he's eating broccoli. <laughs> I've been listening to all the talking. Just... Broccoli, bacon, oh, cheese, and avocado. Oh. Uh, it's been a change, definitely. Uh, well, since. Game. Yeah, like, we call it the Bato incident. Like, what was that? Three years ago? When they had two years ago? Maybe sooner. I don't know. When they had the whole MS13 gang bank show up at like our associate store, dressed up as SWAT, like our paranoia level went up. You know, and uh, that was about the same time I got Bo. Like he was kind of one of those things that was just kind of a. A volunteer blessing. Like I knew a, a, a girl that bred uh, golden retrievers, and what's what state are you in? Oregon. 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 Oh, Southern Oregon. Southern Oregon. Dirty South. Boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you I am so sorry, hello. You're oh, born in Ohio. Dude, what? Oregon. The Amazing. Fuck up. You Dude. live next to the house. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go to the river? <laughs> You go to pond. What are you gonna do? You go to the coast here. We got the ocean. We got California. We got Washington. It's only a few hours away. It's beautiful here. Yeah. You do what you want, man. I mean, where I'm at, it's I... mostly uh, <laughs> it's mostly wine country and cannabis country. Like yeah. we're the we're at the northern point of the Emerald Triangle. So like where all the 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 prime mediterranean style growth happens for cannabis indoor and outdoor takes place here so a lot of the stuff that you 
you you consume for cannabis across the United States, whether they say they've grown locally or not, you get some Jaeger or some, you know, Mac Mac one, Mac Mac ten, whatever it is, it's probably grown in Oregon, locally within five miles of my house. And, and that's just because of water rights recreational uh license growth limits and uh political appeal right yeah. so oregon oregon has a lot of influence in the cannabis market just because the prime grow quality real estate that we have here but we also have an extreme retirement uh estate here. so people People are retiring. They're they're basically mm -hmm. laying down their coffins, um, and at the same time, they want to buy nice houses and expand their wealth to give to their grandkids. So I'm kind of like in the middle of all of that, and in our local area, like good friends of mine are estate controllers, which would be friends of families who are there at the the last stage of their life. Like we don't want their property uh, to pop growers. We don't want their property I think it to, is. to, you know, nefarious. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sean. You know, you know, like gangs and shit. We want people that are buying property, oh, right? You're right. And they want to they they want to grow a family. Like they want to grow an actual like human real estate. Like it's not for profit. What we do is we we secure people's land for the right reason, and it's not like a political thing or anything it's just oh little baby share the property oh, do it. so cute. Do it for reasons and then grow your own weed grow your own fruit grow your own little fruit. face my property for the reason for expanding a third estate you know like oh well it's not my property it's for an investor well we're not gonna invest in it sorry you're an albino gremlin yeah, like when you're talking about Gremlin real estate property investment, because it's coming no, from Sean. Sean. He oh, he's Gremlin. Oh. That was his baby. That was Reminald. So that's what we do. You know, we use our it's money. Like a for fucking miniature people. version of my dog. Yeah, but if anything, better. If at any point we can make a dog, my goal is to make a a dog kennel reserve for like abandoned dogs that need a yeah. place and then like used for hunting dogs. Is there a kennel available for Banshee? Um, <laughs> Banshee would always have her own kennel. Banshee, do you like hard food or soft food? You can come and stay for free and you'll be fed 24 hours a day. Just she howls at the moon, though. She's really the same food as our dogs, really. which is really good food. Because I cook sirloin <laughs> steak and uh, potatoes. Not all the dogs like potatoes. Potatoes so. al gratin. There you go, Banshee. There you go. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. You need to lock it, bro. There you go. She's going to kill you if you mean for... Why don't you invite Canabanshi up to Canada? No, I would rather not. I think you should. I'd rather you not. Paying for Canabanshi... That's probably one of, the, one of things that I actually agree with Doobie on. Because not only would I not be allowed over the border, but B, I wouldn't get my fucking husband back because he'd stay there. They're, they don't allow people like Canabanshi in Canada at all. <laughs> Thank God. We have we have rules and laws up here. They don't uh, people like Canabanchi aren't welcome. Give me a break. You guys would make a great duo just roasting each other. No, no, you no. Here. Distance makes the heart fonder. That's right. Walk away from me. <clears throat> My heart is not fond of you. Out there and you have like a dual the feelings mutual. You have like a uh, 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 like one interview place and, a, and a, like a second studio and a bulletproof screen in between so you guys can't kill each other in the middle of like roasting each other Aww. we're on a walk we're going down. where are you going we're just walking around look at she's having a pee 
TOS. Dude. Huh. Oh, she's got a little. She has her own little harness. Oh, she's so happy to be outside. <laughs> Canabanshi. It's so much cuter than Canabanshi's dog. You know Thank what? You. You can you may go fuck yourself, sir. My dog is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Well, her dog is gorgeous. You can't say that about it. No, it's nice, but uh, Remy's nicer. He's gonna look even better when I fucking shave him finally. That's abuse. N not really. It'd be more abusive to not get the knots out of his fur. Look at her. She's just excited to be out in the world. She is. She's so happy. And she's smelling all the smells. <laughs> what if we had their notes? We'd be so overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. I could see her getting ready for a poop position. Now. Hey, get off people's spot. property. Yeah, get off people's property. Yeah, you know, like, but she's also getting ready for the crowd. Like, there's this curve yeah, in her that, spine. That one spot she wants to poop in. You know what I'm talking about, Ken? Oh, there she goes. Look at oh. <laughs> Don't film that! Walk my dog around our building for him to poop in one of the fucking corners of our parking lot. I'm, I'm covered in bow hair, but you can fill up. Here. Oh, look at that, puppy. What? You got Yin Yang Hollow, a light dog and a, and a dark dog. Like and go, baby. You're very observant, Banshee. Shut up, Stevie. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I can't talk to someone who has owned Chihuahuas. I haven't. Who's my exes? Would you, would you consider getting another dog? No. Not an animal person. Oh, you joking? No, I am, but I don't want one. Ah, ah, it's too much responsibility and too much cleanup and cost and I don't know. I feel like you're more of a cat guy anyway, though. Yeah, I like no, cats. They're more, they're more work. What are cats? Yeah. Well, in some ways, dogs you gotta walk all the time and. Yeah, but if you live in certain areas, you don't have to clean up after your dog. Look at Hollow has two going on in the back. Hollow, wow. are you are you jealous? Yeah, Duke is hanging out on my lap, and Bo is jealous. He is. I love dead. how you have like huge ass dogs, and they just sit in your lap like a puppy. Oh dear. Oh, they're they're so young. <laughs> like I love when big dogs have that puppy mentality. Like, no, I will sit in your lap. I can still fit. I can still fit. He wants to sit on my lap when we ride in the car. Yeah. It's it's brutal. So like when he sits in the back, he's he sits like a traumatized dog to make me feel bad. Look at her pull. Oh yeah, you saw that. Yeah, okay. She is ready to go. I know. She's amped up. She's like a reindeer. Look at that. She is She is trying to fuck it. Dude, that was what my dogs did before I had shot collars. As soon as I trained one of them with a shot collar, Bo, like the beep noise reminded him. He's like, okay. Got a little bit quicker. Yeah. Come on. Out of there. All right. I've thought about doing the shot collar thing, but I'm afraid it's gonna give my dog brain damage because he's kind of an idiot already. Yeah, I think it's should... I would say any dog over 60 pounds would benefit with a very good quality Garmin shot collar. And learning the tutorial with it is very important because if you're a sadistic person, it may be too much funny when you shock your dog and they yeah, like you. It's yeah. just abuse. Karen yeah, Banshee's it. like that. You don't want to do that. Like, Actually, no, I'm not. I respect animals more than I respect humans. Yeah. 
<laughs> I know. Me too. It was really funny the first time you used it, and you realized, oh god. It can't be funny, but uh, that kind of power comes with a lot of responsibility. Yes, it's, and then always leave your controller if you have if you have your collars on your dog, and you don't plan on using it. Leave it your off. leave your controller in the car, away from your body. Yeah, because there was a couple times the controller was in my shorts, and we went swimming. Oh, no. The shit out of Duke, and he started screaming, and I was like, that "What the hell?" Baby. Yeah, yeah, he's right here. Yeah, you know? yeah, it got everyone in the park's attention, and I was like, "I have no idea what's going on," and I was like, "Oh, oh shit, shit, the remote." Yeah, in my pocket. Oh. It's a teeny so little. you jumped no. into the pool with the remote on yeah. you? Yeah, it's a waterproof remote, but. With the oh, cracker, okay. it pushes. But your leg button. was still pressing it. Yeah, press the buttons. Oh, that poor did, baby. Was like, what the hell is going on? And was Why like, am I being cut oh, it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. He was only like, like nine or ten months old when that happened. But yeah. So yes, I, I would say he got the message. I got the message. He didn't know what the heck happened. No, I got it. I said, you're, you're, all, you're all leaving in the car. <laughs> right, no, I'm, if we're going swimming, we're going swimming. I'm under control with a leash. Not just that, but it uh, saves off the temptation of when they're acting up in the house. Just being. No, never, ever. They never okay. have their 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 collars in the house. I always take it off as soon as we come back. I was going to say, yeah, personally, I would take it off in the house just because there's no I reason for it. I am going to a park or the, to like a local uh, spot where we can walk the dogs without a leash. Yeah, they they stay on. But uh, as soon as we get back to the house, they come off. Like, yeah. you can set it up. You can set it up as a bark uh, shot collar. Like, same thing. Like, you just set it up to where a sensitivity limit is, like, from 1 to 10. Like, yeah. if, they bark, if they bark more than a 5 or 6, right. it sends a message. But it's not anything painful to where it's going to incapacitate them or no, make them not. Like, hey, it yeah, it's like you touching an electric fence for a horse or for yeah. a horse electric fence. It's not bad. It's just, okay, that's something there that I need to think about, you know. It's, kind of, it's not really a punishment, it's a deterrent. Well, if you grew up around electric fences... Uh, that's, just, that's just fucking Darwin. No. Darwinism. No. No. That yeah. sounds so unethical. There's no chance to test the electric fence just to see what it tastes like, you know? But uh, Again, that's video. Darwinism in action. In a video, dogs are not humans. Uh, they will go after something until it's dead. I think humans have to be trained mentally how to do that. So it's, you can tell a dog to kill something and it will kill it and not realize it's dead. You know, it's just- It'll cool. keep going after it. Yeah. And then there's my landlord's dog, which will kill something and eat the entire fucking creature. Sure. Like, no. can I, yeah, it's only it's a, a killer, 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 but it's also a glutton. It's trained to kill and eat, swallow, and consume uh, for the protection of not only it, but chickens and sheep. Oh, and okay. So a guard dog. It, yeah, like it's beyond a guard dog. It's psychotic. It's what bred Duke. So Duke has those same genes somewhere in it. Uh, just because his mom was a, a fucking whore, you know, and that's okay. She, <laughs> she, oh, damn. Well, she was. She she left out of the property and sought out like a highly superior chocolate lab adventure dog that's worth like, I think he's worth like fifteen thousand dollars. I'm talking about your dad. You you're kissing me. Don't disrespect me. He knows what I'm talking about. His dad. Weird. Okay. okay. Pause real quick. Pause real quick. Uh, okay. Doobie, you just ate a pizza like 10 minutes ago. What the fuck are you eating now? He's hungry. A pizza? Yeah. 
He needs a snack. Yeah, I have a snack. He just ate a pizza. I only eat one piece. Well, was... Dude, I was eating that salad He's in front of him and he was like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm hungry again. Pizza. I asked. Yeah, pizza. Oh, pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. That was good pizza. pizza. If anyone likes salad, that was really, really good. I'm gonna have to try that because it actually does sound good and I fucking love salad. Do you like broccoli? You guys could probably find something else other than the mayonnaise, you know, but for me, that was delicious. Yeah, because can apparently can of banshees are mayonnaise here. I don't know. Does, does Holly like broccoli? Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah, she'd like that. She probably would eat it. Bro. Up in the lap. I'm jealous. You have to jump on my lap right here. That was good. I am jealous of your... Oh, I mean, I have a good bond with my dog, but I like the jumping in the lap and... They're walking around with toys in their mouth. <laughs> just awesome. <laughs> they get so excited just to have attention. They love attention. Oh. Remy, you hear that? You need to walk around with a toy in your mouth. What he's doing right now is trying to get Duke jealous so he plays with Bo. Because they'll go out into the living room and kick the shit out of each other in my main room. Like, they're like little kids, you know, they like disappear, like, what's that noise? Did you just start up a saw? We're gonna go in the room, it's okay, we're building dumb things. Damn. Oh, that's these guys. That's them. Oh, look, it's a bigger Remy. Wait, is that your dog? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a fluffy puppy. Look at these oh, dogs. This is dog cam. <laughs> It's a bigger Remy, but she's not as pure white, though. He's. Dude, he's a beautiful dog. Oh, he is. He's a fucking pain in the ass. He's getting When Pyro first got him, he was pure fucking white, but he's tanned it out since. It's black! It's called the whole black! Where is this? Where is this? Yeah, right, Bob. Look at how little Remy like looks back at you to make sure you're there every once yeah, in a while. She wants, she wants confirmation that everything's good here. What? She's just making sure she's a little baby. Get him, Bo. You get him. You get this black dog. You tell him I don't want him. Look at Sean hasn't passed one homeless person yet. <laughs> I was going to say the the property where I live is really expensive. You can tell by these houses. like Banshee would be a homeless person there, huh? Probably. I called you Banshee, too. I don't even know how I live here, so it's so expensive. She wants to go that way. She's saying this way. <laughs> Hi, dog. So delicious. The big celebrity. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, that pita was really good. Uh, yeah. Would you have a pita bread? Uh, yeah, just a pita, yeah. That sounds good, yeah. I like to just put cheese in it. Really thinly cut cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, Watch what Dick does. He tears up, he hates couches. Get Who does, Duke? Yeah. Get it. What? Put it in that couch. Get it. Put it in that couch. Well, Sean's living in the Bruges neighborhood. These houses are fucking huge. That's where coffee lives. Get up! 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 Get up!
like, I can't afford this, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Sean. You should just move to Canada. It's cheaper here. Fuck it. I've always admired like small houses like, like this stuff. Small houses for midgets? Are those cactuses? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's where they put illegal immigrants. <laughs> it's it's just prettier. Of course, they got pretty up the outside, so nobody questions the insides. Are we home yet? <laughs> Can't agree. Can't disagree there. Are we home? I got a couple of bottles. It's cheaper to make landscaping look pretty than make the interior according to code. That's called. Mafia. <laughs> True. You know, you know, Canabanchi living in a living in a landlord slum. You don't need any I mean, water. You're not entirely wrong. Here. What do they call? Oh, slumlord. Yeah, like, here. They call them slumlords. Slumlord millionaire, yeah. where like people turn tiny projects into like you know animal. Uh, conservation areas where they have like, uh, what do they call it? The canine, what what do they call it here? Canine instinct, but it was like a canine training area where they offered kennel services. Oh, that was weird. So they would turn your German Shepherd into a guard dog over like thirty days. And there was a lot of retired air, retired people here. Damn, that's crazy. Who would leave the area for like two months and they would leave the dogs with this dude who's a re you know ex convict and uh, he basically would put the dogs in the cage and set an auto feeder and half the auto feeders failed. So it was like all these animals are dying in this in this downtown clinic for uh, what was supposed to be a dog cleaning clinic. This dude's still on the run. He has like three outstanding warrants. Canine How many dogs? Yeah, it was nine dogs were saved at like that went back to their owners. Twenty-one dogs were held by the county uh, in the in the county, you know, dog saving area, basically where like the hope that the owners would return, and like fifteen other animals were dead. So horses, goats, sheep, dogs, cats, exotic animals, and this dude. Oh, it's, it's just full animal cruelty. Yep. Yeah, one hundred percent animal cruelty. But this guy has like uh, gang convictions. He has prior arrests, that theft convictions. And we're on the West Coast. Yeah. So the bottom line is. Uh, there are extremely lax laws in in the case of animal cruelty when you have connections with you know human crimes that can be connected to other things so like the law will be lax on your animal crimes if they can Yeah, 
Well, and you wouldn't be able to catch him either. I know. Don't pluck him. Don't pluck him. Look at, he's sad. He hates you. Look at Sean. Sean, does Remy shed? You're going to be cleaning your ass off. 
Sean? No, Sean's gone. Look, he doesn't like you. Don't fat shame him. I can't believe you just fat shamed him. Do Remy. Brush Reminald. Yeah, poor doggo. Sean? Sean's dead. Ew. Hi, Remy. Look at her little pants. Look at her little parachute pants. See, she's way fluffier than Banshee's, though. She's way fluffier, except 
Her little legs don't have like any fluff. <clears throat> he probably just doesn't like you, like just pure full stop period. What time is it? Three twelve. Tell them what Sean's bedtime. Yeah, I should go do a slut stream. <coughs> what? <coughs> Don't say up there, like as if we're different from everyone else. Well, better, but I didn't want to say that. I was trying not to say that. <clears throat> yeah, we have legal job. Canabanchi, what you did as a rub and tug girl, it's legal here. You don't have to worry about the law that, like you did there. Well, I'm not a girl. See, it has, it's in the title, Rub and Tug Girl. <coughs> yeah. But I could get you in if you want. Inspected and repackaged. Yep. I know people that can get you in the rub and tug industry. I can get Canabanchi in. Well, you know how much Randall was making. One to three bands a day. Well, how would you feel about that, Banshee? One to three bands a day. I'm just saying, that's what Randall was pulling. One to three bands a day. She's dead. She's my ex-friend that's dead. She is a Robin Tug girl. She's dead, though. What? Who? She's dead though, yeah. She died. Poor Randall. All she wanted was to rub it and tug. What's Sean doing? And she's like feathering her dog. Do all right. Where's your brush, you big bastard? Where's your brush, you big old bastard? Don't talk to him like that. That's rude. All right, dead ass, dead ass. 
dead ass, Banshee, dead ass. Dead ass. Things are looking good. He's all set, he's ready to go. Whoa, whoa. Look at Sean loves it. Look at his little Sean face. <laughs> uh. Hi, bro. What? I... No. I. I. Can you hear him? <laughs> Banshee still just working away? No. Yeah, buy a new one. Well, you gotta get another job for that, but. <laughs> and now we know McDonald's won't take you back. And Burger King's out of the question, so. Maybe you could message Real Wiffy and ask her to put in a good word with Chick-fil-A for you. Well, you can just lie. Who is this can of Anchi you think she is? He doesn't want no more. He's had enough. Sean, are we doing the last bowl? Let's do it. We're doing it over, 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 cut over. One, two, one, two. Check one, two, one, two. I seen you on a bathroom riding a broom. Oh no, I was a rhyme about Banshee. Are we, are we locked? Check one, two, one, two. We're locked and loaded. We're smoking through. Cheers! One, two, one, two. All right. Oh, he's going to blow it out the door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Show it up, wait, wait. Don't step on the poor kitty. Oh, hi, Sean. <coughs> Oh. Poor baby says. All right. Well, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Late night slut stream. I'm going to try to flip my sleep around. We'll do an hour and we'll end at the 420. Woo!
Much love, guys. Much love, Angie. Much love, Hollow. Much love, Sean. Deuces. All right. We flipping. We flipping. We flipping. 